zote za kupasua kuangamiza kanisa dhidi ya maroza kuvunja watu mioyo dhidi ya maroza usingizi dhidi ya maroza kuzembea baba hivyo naomba madhabahu haya damu yako Yesu kashinda hali hizo naomba kwamba bwana utufanyishie unenaji na usemu na utokamana na mafuta yako katika Yesu Kristo naomba amen In the name of jesus we pray in jesus name we are pray katika kristo yesu naomba Amen. I really want to be hearing my monitor so that uh, my mic does not pull me backwards. Yes, Yesu ni bwana. Hallelujah. Kuna hali ambazo ningependa tusemezane. And uh, ningependa tuombe watu wetu wa mitambo. What pulls me out of prayer many times is my microphone. Because when you want to pray a lot of microphone na kuvuta that means what of yombo muna nilemaza because your work is to make sure my mic as it as i move you move with it but when i move you pull me back is that you don't want me to pray na vile vile mna nitoka katika line ya maombezi he 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 ndio chombo changu and that's why you need to be very spiritual if you will be handling my microphone because adui anaweza kutumia kwa mesho kama mtu amunga siombe i had purpose to pray for some time but you, from all things i'm trying but you're pulling me by line here it's it's not easy so intercessors wote make sure that um, our prayer cover tunaombea all our technicians kama adui anataka apige madhabahu huwa naazanga na watu wa intercessors watu wa imaji na watu wa viombo and so that's why we can't pretend that uh, our media people should not be spiritual they have no choice they have to bwana <laughs> siwe actually you have no choice if you can't embrace spirituality you'll find it very hard to work with us and that's how to mwapunguza because uh, worldliness is a real opposition or an enmity to godliness so kwa mtu wa dunia utapata hapo uwezi to bwana that's how umekuwa kipungua tunawapunguza tu tunabadilisha tu so there must be a sensitivity ya kiroho nataka niongelee mambo kidogo ya maombezi before i make the sermon for today so i want to talk about some prophetics kuhusu maombezi tumo katika hali ambazo uh, mashambulizi yamo na usingizi watu wamelala ukilala kiroho Adui anatawala na atapanda magugu ndani yako. Anapanda magugu, anapanda mbegu mbaya and that happens when we slumber. So intercessors wote ambao Mungu alikuita uwe muombezi but right now umekuwa kafiri. You have really invited God's judgment. Ukitaka kutafuta hukumu ya Mungu, ni rahisi sana. Unafiki that you are one that is called to prayer. Umeitwa kuomba umepatiwa mafuta ya kuomba umepewa mzigo wa kuomba kisha umepewa mwito wa uombezi kisha umefika mahali penye sasa hauombi you are not praying hauombi tena bali yake umezembea wakati umezembea nakumbuka unabia ambao Mungu alinipa, ali, alinipa nikatoa kuhusu intercessors wote sio tu Kenya bali dunia mzima kwamba wamo katika hukumu ya Bwana kwa ajili 
wameacha nafasi zao za maombezi wamewacha nafasi yao ya kuomba kazi ya intercessor yeye ni watchman yeye ni mlinzi anakaa kwenye malango adui asipenye na malango maandiko yataja malango um, eh, as the gate the gate the gate yani malango so kuna tofauti ya malango na malango those are two different words there is the word the gate then there is also the door so kiswahili inajaribu kutofautisha kidogo tu malango na milango malango na malango so yesu ni malango so kuna lango kuna malango kiswahili ingesema malango ya kuzimu kiingereza inaitafsiri malango kama the gates of hell and i've said that the, the gate stands for the place of judgment the gate inasimamia mahali ambapo unafanya maamuzi ni madhabahu so on earth we have the altar but in the realm of the spirit we have the gate so ile biashara unaifanya kwenye madhabahu hapa duniani inawakilishwa na mfanyiko wa kiroho ambaye ninataja kama malango the gate so Kenya today japo I mean tunaangalia mahakama ya Kenya ni madhabahu kisha kiroho ni malango ikuli ya Kenya ni madhabahu kisha kiroho ni malango e, these are parliament ama ma, ama ma, bunge uh, la Kenya ama mabunge zetu hapa duniani Kenya ni madhabahu lakini kule mbinguni ni malango they are the gates that means kwamba they are the places of authority you can cut your case from there mahakama za Kenya hapa chini ni madhabahu lakini juu mbinguni pia ni malango that's why the transactions that take place on the altar really matters so malango yaweza kuwa malango ya kuzimu ama malango ya bingu so we can have the gates uh, of hell just like also we have the gates of heaven what is as fewe hizo zote mtu muombezi lazima ujue that's why you'll be a very bad pastor if you're not an intercessor hakuna vile mtu mchungaji eh? <laughs> utakuwa mchungaji mzuri kama ujui kuomba there are things you must know about intercession or intercessory na utakuwa nabii mwingine nabii wa mwili kama vitu hivyo uelewi juu mandhabahu kinlio mahali hakuna vile shetani atafanya mashambulizi ya kukupiga kama atumii madhabahu na shetani sio mpumbavu upumbavu wake tu ni moja kwamba alimkata ali, ali, alibishana na Mungu akakata kutubu that's the only thing that uh, equates satan as ignorant that is not foolish anajua these principles zote so kama atawapiga kama ataipiga ndoa yako kama ataipiga uh, atakushambulia kwa hali vyovyote vile lazima kuwe na mfanyiko wa madhabahu na hizo madhabahu wanaandaliwa kama kwa ba ukienda kwa waganga enda kwa wachawi enda kwa walozi manabii bandi wafungue makanisa manabii bandi wafanye vikao vyao hizo zote zinampatia shetani nafasi hizo ndio madhabahu wanatumia intercessor mzuri ukianza kuomba unajua mali unalenga we are not only we are not only praying for the protection of our altar but you must launch attacks kwa madhabahu ambazo nashuku zinaweza shambulia wewe na kanisa so lazima ukiwa muombezi uwe na macho kama ya tai you must have eyes like an eagle Aya, watu wale ambao utapeleka kwa safari ya kiroho ukienda ukipeleka kwa safari za mbingu utapata malaika ambao okay wanawaita the creatures the bible calls them uh, bele za bwana there is a beast hii sio beast hii ya pepo katika uwepo wa bwana kuna wazee 24 
kuna mwana kondoo kuna kitu cha enzi alafu pia kuna kuna viombe ambazo zinakaa za ajabu hawa waonekanangi huku wana macho kila mahali za kuona they are called some they are called some beast creature katika uwepo wa Bwana so utawapata uta pale kama Mungu atakao tunuku bila metunuku wengine wetu kupelekwa safari ya kiroko uwepo wa Bwana utaona mambo kama haya na ni mnyama wa ajabu ni wanyama wa ni viumbe vya ajabu lakini hao wamo katika ni kama tu malaika na wao so mtu ambaye ni intercessor wahitaji we na macho za kuona sawia hivyo you must have eyes to see so let not your mind and your eyes be buried just on this altar unaangalia baba hii madhabahu tunakataa mishale of course lakini si ugeuza macho yako angalie mashale zinatokenga wapi and that's why we do what we call spiritual mapping ukilala usiku unainua kichwa chako kiroho unataka ishike our heads kiroho is like a watch tower inaenda juu kabisa alafu inageuka ange kita ikijebu kushika shika e eldred mashambulizi za mishale huwa zinatoka upande gani unashika roho yako ni kama inapiga darubini ni wapi mashambulizi zinatokanga zikikuja kupiga maeneo na kuishi intercessor mwenye ana akili hata jali hiyo so unapigwa kama raia <laughs> unapigwa kama 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 mtu wa mataifa airuhusiwe intercessor intercessor apigwe hivyo ukisikia umapigwa unajua kama kuna mahali penye huku huku au kufunga haleluya ukiona intercessor umapigwa unajua kama kuna mahali kuna maana ambapo hujashambulia maana kila mahali kushambulia unaweka malango pia Unaweza shambuliwa from any direction. Right from the church, unaweza pigwa. Maana kuna waombezi ambao wajuu kutumia bunduki zao sawa sawa, bala apiga adui, anapiga mshirika. Na hiyo inafanya kwa rais kama una wivu na mwenzako kanisani. Una wivu na yule vile anaomba, una wivu na yule vile anavaa, una wivu vile. Yaani unasikia tu una wivu shetani na kutumia katika hali hiyo. So wakati umefanya hayo, umeinua nini? Umeinua madhabahu. That's why tunafanya kujitakasa na Biblia neno la Bwana ni isopo ya kuoga naye this word is a cleansing agent ndio sabuni ya isopo unaoga naye so unafanya kutubu madhambi na unaisoma Biblia kila mara what do you do you wash yourself okay soma neno la Mungu sawa sawa basi macho yako ya kiroho inafunguka inawashwa Masikio yako ya kiroho pia inasafishika unaweza sikiza. The more you interact with the word of God, your spirit becomes very sensitive to hear God. Lakini ikiwa una uzito, basi hata Mungu akinena roho yako haishiki. And that's where we need to be to read a lot of God's word, especially sasa ambapo Kenya anga yetu ni chafu na ni chafu mpaka hata waombezi wengi ya waombi wamepigwa wamevunjwa moyo sana and so that's why unapofanya maombezi mesho kama mataa zako zinawaka usilale sana jaribu sana just hata kama mjuku kuomba just say kwamba want just want to sit sit through the night kaa usiku mzima just with the word and you want to hear from god kuna wakati Mungu anataka aongee na ni kama aongee na kama anongee ni kama usiki so you sit through the night unakaa tu kana biblia ukingoja bwana anene there are times i've done so miaka zangu ambazo i was myself to hear from god so masaa mzuri za kusikiza kwa bwana ni baada ya watu wengi kulala na unasikia mji yani maeneo yametulia na hizo ni masaa za saa saba, saa nane, saa tisa. ndio usifanye mistake ya kulala saa tano kidogo ndamuka saa sita ukiamka hizo masaa itakuwa vigumu sikiza so you just sit through and that's why watanena television one of the tool ambao shetani ametumia kuharibu intercessors ni to television television hii imeharibu intercessors wengi rela amesema nini ura amesema nini sijiruta amesema nini nani amesema nini 
na inakutoa kwa laini ya kiungu inakuweka kwa laini ya ya mwili dunia kitambo urejeshe roho yako kwa laini ya kiungu usikia sauti ya bwana mafanya kazi sana so you are just like um, get yourself into some worship kwa nyumba yako weka mahubiri kama unazo sijasema kusikiza television mbaya lakini nimesema ndio chombo ambacho shetani amekitumia sana kuharibu waombezi wengi because you may not be able to balance the two especially in the time now so mimi nikaje nyimanga television nikasema sitaki gazeti sitaki out of choice and that's how I've grown spiritually you cannot be taking every garbage If you are a reader of newspaper mara mwingi biblia inakushinda you find that you read a lot of newspaper and you read only two five verses of the bible unapata wa intercessor ambao hawana material <laughs> intercessor ambaye hana hana data hauna hauna stock stock yako ni biblia read this word utaelewa mambo so itakusaidia kujua kwamba kuna vile unajiweka kuna vile unajitakasa kuna vile unajijenga kuna vile unajiimarisha na unapolala you're on your watch out vita vyako kianza lenga madhabahu stop kulenga individuals uache kulenga watu na meshale zako lenga madhabahu pambana na maroa ambazo ziko nyuma ya watu because shetani ana mwili so lazima akuje na sura ya mtu one time i prayed for a certain kuna dada ambaye alikuwa anataka asaidiwe sana na alikuwa ni madada ambao amelezi makanisa za ako kwa kanisa za manabi na bi bandia So akawa namwambia asaidika afungulie ukombozi wake ilikuwa ngumu for eight months this bado tu anapitenga tu deliverance na kazi yake iliisha mume wake hana kazi boma yao ibute imekwama kwao ni magonjwa tu mashetani mwapora na ufukara alafu na magonjwa pia na mauti na maafa sasa akakimbilia upande huu kaza kumwombea asaidike So ikawa sasa apate urejesho maana mshahara na kazi hakulipwa alifutwa hivyo hivyo. So katika hali hiyo kesi zimekwama mahakamani kuna hali kesi zimekwama na lemewa na matajiri wale wakubwa kwamba asilipwe mshahara e, alifutwa vibaya alifutwa kimakosa. So katika hali ya kumuombea ilo hali kwamba Mungu ampiganie mahakamani afanikiwe. Bas tukona dalili za kufanikiwa akaonyeshwa usiku kwamba huyo mwenye namuombea ambaye ni mimi akona kwamba eh hey, mimi ndo ni kama nampinga eh asifanikiwe akakuja akaniambia nikacheka sana kama ndo naamini hivyo mbo ya poso sijui nikamwambia wewe shetani ana mianya mingi anavaa umwaletea sura kama yangu kwa shauku kama nakupinga yet i'm the one praying for you please amuka eat from one source choose who is the spiritual authority kwa maisha yako stick to him maana shetani anaamua kwamba akikuribia laini ya shetani ameshwa amekuaribia laini iliyobakia wewe kusaidika kwamba mimi na kuombea kama mtumishi wa Bwana so shetani anataka kutoa imani usiwe na imani kwangu so unaona amekuja na sura kama yangu kaambia dada hivi ndio vile hatima yako inapingwa get to study a lot of god's words Amini unakosaidika maana shetani anazava sura ya mtu yeyote so hata kanisani huku kuna watu ambao balala upige eh, balala sasa upige mtu please pingana na roho anayemtawala pingana na roho ambaye anakuja kwa sura zake kuna watu wanaanza kukujia ndio zafikiri nile intercessor huyu ndiye ananipiga intercessor mwenye na, mwenye ako na maarifa please jua kwamba kiroho shetani anazava sura ya hata pasta So sio hiyo ndio tukamchukia pasta wako bali yule roho yule ambaye ako nyuma yani kwa yale mavazi piga mpaka sura yake ijitoe ni nani Jamu unajua kwamba ha kumbe ni shetani kajigilibu the devil has disgusted himself maybe as you pastor maybe as an intercessor mwenye unajua kanisani what is it for to create hatred ndio sasa ambaye hana akili na mara mwingi unahitaji kushiriki neno sana ndio utaweza kujua chenye Mungu anasema so nyakati kama hizo nakaa na mahubiri 
unakaa through the night ukifanya kutafakari fika masaa nane hapo utakuwa unasikia vizuri kama bwana kinena utasikiza so in your waiting for the lord you can engage in prayer you can engage in the, in the word kama usiki kuomba na kata na biblia ukisikiza to all through saa tisa sometimes unakaa mpaka unasikia saa kumi na moja ndio anaongea that's something mwenye that's someone ambao you want to wait on god usiwe na haraka kwa uweko wa bwana Sometimes it gives you an a lot of things ambazo itakufaa wewe jinsi ya kupigana. So waombeze ambao tumo kanisani na tumo katika huduma. You must sharpen your eyes. Lazima ufanye sana kuyanoa makali ya macho yako ya kuona. Kupitia neno na toba. Don't mistake watu ambao uko na wao kwamba wao na kupiga tafuta roho zile ambazo zina mfanyiko ya kuvaa sura zao shughulikia maro kama hawa maana intercessors mtahukumiwa so tuna wanahukumiwa intercessors kwa ajili gani kwa ajili ya kuzembea na kulala aizaya 56 msari wa 10 dhaza aizaya 56 verse number 10 inatombea kuhusu hali ya intercessors kulala na ndio hali ambayo iko Kenya kwa sasa intercessors wamelala na usingizi huo ni nzito so Isaiah msina sita msari wa kumi his watchmen are blind walinzi wake ni vipofu they are all ignorant wote ni wapumbavu they are all damp dogs wote ni mbwa wasiobweka they cannot back hawawezi kubweka ni mbwa bubu hawezi kubweka eh? sleeping lying down loving to slumber wafanya kulala hmm? wamezembea wanasinzia walala chini wamependa tu mastarehe wamependa tu kuzembea eh? na wengine wao ni mbwa walafi Yee, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough ni vibaya wakati mombezi amekuwa malafi hawezi kutosheleka and they are shepherds that cannot understand and ni wachungaji ambao hawana ufahamu nakwambia inta mchungaji ambaye si intercessor atakosa sana ufahamu they all look their own way wanaangalia tu mambo zao kujiombea wenyewe nyumba zao na vitu vyao everyone for his own gain from his quarter wakitafuta faida zao wenyewe so what does the bible show us there umuhimu wa intercessor na umuhimu wa mchungaji pia kuwa muombezi. So unapata kanisa inapigwa, waimbaji wanapigwa because intercessors umelala. Watu wa vyombo na vyombo vinaweza shambuliwa maana intercessors mnalala. Someone can be very good in playing keyboard or playing a guitar or playing saxophone or playing the drums. Utaweza kuwa mzuri sana kucheza vitu kama hivyo lakini maombi ukimpea aombe ataomba 15 minutes ama dakika kumi tu ndiye ataomba so that means ako wingi katika mwili lakini ana uchache katika roho ibilisi kumtumia itakuwa ngumu so watu kama wao wanategemea maombi intercessor wewe ujue kucheza keyboard please ombea mtu wa keyboard that's why Mungu ameweka walinzi kanisani wakati mlinzi amelala asifanye kazi yake Mungu atakuhukumu So we want as um, intercessors to pray I mean uh, really pray everybody whom God called you to intercede intercede and ndaka uh, ujue kwamba kwa sasa Kenya tuungali gizani Kenya imo katika uzito wa kiroho na giza Japo sikupanga kuongelea mambo hizi the part of the spell and kuna hali za uchawi uchawi ambazo zimeshika watu Now I wanted to have enough time to explain why spells can work against a saint Kwa nini uchawi inaweza fanya kazi dhidi ya mtu mtu ambaye ni mteule Umeokoka ndio Yesu ni bwana How comes uchawi inakupiga 
mara mingi uchawi unaweza kupiga the spells because Kenya hii tumeona <laughs> kabla uchaguzi na wakati wa uchaguzi ndio anga ya Kenya imechafuliwa na uchawi zaidi ushirikina maagano za kishetani watu ambao wametafuta manabii bandia na vitu vyao wanasia ambao wamefanya maagano na waganga wanasia ambao wakafanya maagano na mizimu hmm? devil worships I mean devil worshiping na illuminati freemasonry na vitu kama hivyo ni wakati huu hiyo ndio wakati wametafutwa sana and their services were consulted and they a lot of covenants were made and cut concerning elections and positions fulani ya kufa ndio niwe 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 nichukue nafasi yake fulani ya kufa ndio nishinde fulani ya angamie fulani hivyo vitu vyote vimo and then napata madhabahu ambazo zinainuliwa zinapewa masadaka na madhabihu at what price watu kumi wanaweza kufa can we have vitu vya watu kumi damu ya watu kumi maisha ya watu kumi so maana sasa napatiwa watu kumi wamekubali haya sign up maybe among the 10 relatives wake among watu kumi ambao wanakufa ni watu wa jamaa yake pastors ambao wametafuta power lazima kanisani kuwe na watu watakufa so hizo zote zimefanywa Kenya plus importation kuleta eh, we import eh, some priests of dark altars kuna watu wakaagiza eh, makuhani wa nchi zinginezo hmm? makuhani wa madhabahu za giza kutoka nchi zijirani ama nchi zingine so tuna makuhani wa Mungu na makuhani wa giza so when you consult and you seek for their services you have simply knocked at the door of satan shetani azapata vitu kutoka kwako na ujue hivi Shetani huwa hapianangi chochote bure. Shetani hapianangi msaada wake bure. Satan has got no free lunch and he has no free gift. At one at some point sooner or later utalipa. And that's how Satan behaves. Hakuna chake cha bure. Na yeye ndo mlango anaingilia. Ni kama ngamia kikuja kuomba maji. Nisaidie tu maji kidogo akiingiza kichwa basi mwili mzima ya ngamia itafuata hiyo nyumba itabomoka so intercessors chart tujue kwamba anga ya Kenya ilichafuka na kuna mambo ambazo tunataja kama za kichawi spells la ana ziliachiliwa Kenya na sio madhabahu moja tu nyingi 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 anga hii ikajawa na mashetani mapepo yanashuka hivyo sababu na watu wakienda fanya tohara jandoni wakina jandoni kufanyishwa tohara mara mwingi kufanywa tohara na kuwa jandoni mnaingizwa katika kiapo so you take oaths unapata vijana ambao wameenda uh, jandoni na fanywa tohara ya kienyeji kwa mara mwingi wanakuwa wanaume wenye vichwa ngumu na roho ngumu sana maana kuna viapo nalishwa pale na viapo vile vinalishwa ni mashetani na yatawala so it become a man chenye unaambiwa katika kiapo inakushika kama gundi inakuwa sehemu ya maisha yako naambia mwanaume hautaguza sufuria mm ukiguza sufuria unajua kwamba wewe ni mwanamke sasa unajua mwanaume atakana wajua mwanamke mm napata wanaume wote wanachukia sufuria na jikoni ni viapo so vitu kama hivyo vimefanywa Kenya viapo vingi kwa ajili ya uongozi na siasa ndio maana Kenya miongoni mwa madhambi makubwa ambazo Kenya eh, inahukumiwa nazo ni uabudu wa siasa politics in Kenya has become um, has become um, idolatric so Kenya siasa imekuwa kama uh, kama kama miungu there are things in Kenya that were among seven detestable sins when ikawa ni political uh, ikawa ni personality cult kuabudu wanadamu so Kenya iko na watu wanaabudiwa kana kwamba ni miungu they are political uh, they are uh, they are political uh, demigods wakuwa wanasiasa ukiwaguza wewe ni shetani ukiwaongelea wewe ni pepo ukiwaguza wewe ni adui they are untouchable politicians they have they have die hard so wana watu ambao wanaweza wanaweza wafia wanaweza kuwafilia Kenya politics has been exalted in Kenya more than uh, more than god 
politics has been exalted in Kenya more than the church. Politics has been exalted so that even the church leaders are pursuing politics. So much that, uh, you know, our church leaders are also like uh, being swallowed in it and they're willing to do anyth anything and everything, politics. It has become religious, so it's become like a religion in Kenya. Number two is football. Which is out in Pira. Everybody's betting, all the betting companies, gambling. So football and gambling, they are going together. Imeharibu Kenya. Na ni moja wapia madambi ambazo mga liniambia kuna dambi saba Kenya ambazo. Imefanya, imeinuka Kenya ambayo inapingana na kazi ya mungu. So football plus gambling. Kamari na mpira. Today anybody, people, watu walipi masadaka makanisani. They are gambling. Plus when they want to pay tithe and say, hey, tithe. He mea. If I... Nikipena kwa mungu, how long will it take to come back? Lakini nikifanya nao betting na betika, dishaze kamari. Maybe mia moja ineza kuja na kitu kama milioni moja. Sama, okay. Na sama, mungu nisaidie. Nilapacheza hii kamari upande hui, nikipata nipate hiyo milioni moja, alafu nipeane fungu za kumi, elfu mia moja. So mungu naonaje hiyo. Na nika munga nakuambia, ndiyo, ndiyo, ndiyo. Unasikia kile kina kuambia, nye yu ni kweli. So pesa zote ambazo gejo kanisani, masadaka na madhabiu, zinuda kwa kamari. Shetani ametajirishwa katika alio. Ndazao, wakusu muna umasikini. Muna fuliza mucheze na azo kamari. Mmecheze kamari mpaka mmesota. So, sikuizi muna fuliza. Gambling. Dambi ya, dambi nyingine ambazo buwana kama nilezea dosi kupanga mambo hayo. Ni washerati. Sexual immorality and perversion in Kenya. Madambi ya zina. Na uchafu wa kingono. Imepenya. Si wanasiasa na wala si kanisa. Everybody, all of them. Wamesanyo katika dambi hiyo. So, squeeze the dambi as inaitishi watu. Mana, ukiela siya mbuzine kama puani. Watoto wadogo na piano, mtalia kikuja. Anawuza mama na mwizo, uleo mepua pesa ngapi. So, that's why I have a somi. Because, kasikia na kadogo tu. Miaka nane hivi, wewe umebukio. You can be someone's wife. Enda utembe kwa beach pale, mtalia kwa kuona. Labda. So, wakiona wasikana wadoga, doga hawa ndi unachukuli wangwa. Unapenyishwa pornografi na vitu kama hizo. Matendo hayo ni matendo machukizo mbele za buwana. They are part of the seven most abominable sins in the Republic of Kenya. Intercessors, buko wapi. When God says that our judge, that our hukumu, basi ndiyo hiyo. So, tupata tutenda tutuko tutuko kuwazee miaka nane, miaka kumi, kumi na mbili. Ngikuwa miaka kumi na sita, wewe ni mama. You already have whoever ni mama. So, wazungu watu na vamiya anga ya Kenya puani. Kutafuta tuschana, tuchipukizi. Mapasta ambao nafanya deliverance ministry, pia ndiyo wawo. Wanaangukia kuangukia, tuschana. Sexual perversion yeah, and uncleanness, pornography, masturbation, homosexuality, lesbianism. Matendo hayo, matendo mbazi ya machukuiza mungu sana, intercessors, awa ombei mambo kama hayo. Uchafu ambao mepenya makanisani, mefanya makanisa ya na power. Mana mapasta wengi wamekua wamekua predators. Wamana huya wani. Asa hawa na vizia vizia. Chochote ambacho ni kike. Iwe ndi kishitana kikadogo ama kimama ama ama mama mkubwa. Au na usalama. So lazimu kenda kanisana unakaa chonjo sana. Yet intercessors awaone mambo hayo. So the sexual perversion ni mejia kila mahali. Mabango, gari kiuzua, chochote kifanyo, lazima picha mwanamuke almost nusu viko. Our social media imejawa na vitu vya kingono na uchafu. And so someone, if you want to be a sober-headed intercessor, please simu ambayo kuna vitu kama, simu ambayo kuna 
kama una discipline please nunua mulika mwezi but just by a simple phone that doesn't have social media and you like receive a call receive a mpesa do something do sms ukai hivyo because some people mechafuli watu kwa hiyo barabara so your phone and your televisions are the greatest um uh, your they are your greatest hindrance to your pursuit of god as mambo ya Mungu awashike and such a perversion size ndio i mean hali uchafu wa kingono ndio silashe tena natumia sana kuharibu makanisa na kuharibu watumishi wa Mungu na kuharibu madhabahu za kiungu so ni makanisa machache sana ambazo zinatembelea na uwepo wa Bwana wana madhabahu zao madhabahu nyingi Kenya zimesharibiwa Ziliabiri wakati wanasiasa pia wanaingia na pesa zao ambazo mayapora wanakuja kuyatolea wanawajengea nazo makanisa. Makanisa ambazo zilijengwa na vitu vya wanasiasa. Ziangalieni. Hawana sauti ya kiungu. Wamekauka. Majority of churches that are built with their politicians proceeds or fundraisings. They have no power. They are just religion. dhambi nyingine ambayo Kenya ime Bwana akanitajia ni dhambi ya umwagikaji damu the shedding of innocent blood umwaga damu na hii imefanywa na mambo za hii inaongozwa na hali hii ya kuavi ya mimba abortions abortion Kenya it is it is it is like legalized it is actually legalized in a very clever way Kenya we have legalized abortion Atuko tofauti na US, I mean na America. They are not different from uh, European. Kenya abortion is legalized. Tunazo chemists na mapharmacies na madaktari ambao it is very simple. One as user. Na sisi zimepewa majina zingine ambazo they don't sound criminal after morning sickness. I don't know uh, Jadel. I don't know emergency pill. Zimepewa majina ambazo zinakane kama ziko na jina za kiungu hazina <laughs> uhatari sana nitaka niandikwe abortion pill wone kama utanunua unanunua titemeka nani ananiona nani ananiona daktari akuandikie kwamba okay prescription abortion pill niweze maandiko emergency contraceptives yani ende ufanye tu kahaba fanya tu dambe za kingono lakini ukimaliza unaweza toa jifanye kwamba ilikuwa emergency Watoto Kenya wana last time ya ufunuo wa Bwana tukaonyesha kwamba watoto milioni mbili wana avia eh, wana, wana mimba za yani wanauawa kila siku That's 2 million just in one county And that's how bloody we are Hao ni wanatoa mimba hao ndio wanawapata wako kanisani kutaka Yesu awasaidie In fact wako kanisani kana kwamba nothing has happened someone switch off uh, switch off i don't know who switch it on it shouldn't be so unapata uh, how 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 wamefanya madhambi hayo ya kuavia mimba so much that their conscience no longer haunts them kanisani tuna watu wanafanya hivyo tu they are actually in other words munaua 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 watu tumboni mwenye na watu wameshazoea it's normal wanafunza na uziwa eh na uziwa nini inaitwa pp2 mara kwanza nifikiri p2 ni p3 ni ile ukienda 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 polisi wa unataka p2 au unataka p3 so kuna hizo mafomu na ndiko I think P1 ni police bond ama P2 ndio police bond sio peace bond P, uh, P3 ni P3 form so mimi nilifikiri kama hizi pia zimekuja pia mashinani kumbe P2 ni dawa ya kuua mtu tumboni yani ni mbinu ya kuua mtu tumboni you must murder someone imefanya nini <laughs> madhabao nyingi zinafukuza Mungu zinanuka kunuka alafu sasa hizi ya kuwa watu fwa 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 polisi kuwa watu fwa 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 majambazi kuwa watu fwa 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 watu kwenda uganga kuwana ma devotions kuwa watu na ajali Kenya ajali za ajali za barabara Kenya nyingi they are not natural ajali nyingi za barabarani Kenya 
they aren't natural phenomena. They are not natural phenomena. They are, they are conspiracy. They are planned. They are schemed by demonic altars. So the worshippers wengi wana, ndiyo naona wachiganga wengi wanatafutanga anga ya Kenya. Manabi wengi bandia wanatafuta anga ya Kenya. Mana huku kuna za madhabawa ambazi navutia. So accidents. The worshippers wengi and agents wana kamua zile damu na kusitumia. Inalisha madhabawa zao. So that's one also bloodshed. So kuna watu ambao, when you are, you are a devil's queen, you are Satan's queen, when ni malikia wa kishetani, usiku kazi yako nukua watu. Jana barubaru, usiku nunanga tunafiwe ni ninja. Oh, si ninja. You are just a devil agent. Muna peleka kuua watu. Muna uwa. Hizo, hiyo kuwa hiyo. Kuna madhabao ziliwa inuliwa ambazo. Inakudai kwa lazima uingi katika halio. So usiku wa malala, unenda mission. Kika saatatu sa ama saatano usiku, umedisapia. I've handled such deliverances. So, how are you come out in agents or mashetani? You just think, oi, ni ndoto tu. Asa samu hizo damu muna ogelea na muna kunywa. Bloodshed in Kenya. Blood covenants. Blood rituals. Sexual orgies. Hakuna mapasa mwa na jipatanga tukua mba they don't, they they are helpless of what they do. I mean, really they are oppressed. Vitu hivi vyote intercessors wa melala and it's why mungu ataba hukumu. Kati wachungaji wana baka watu kanisani. Lafala nasema uwe ni shetani. Mara mungu intercessors wa melala. Wa melala. Jomanda bunga kasema kwa mba if I'll get a man Kama nita mbata muta ambaye atanesha wish ni si hukumu inchi. And that's why Ezekiel 22, msari wa 30, imu katika mandiko Ezekiel 22. Na buwana nasema, if only I'll get, kama tu nita mbata mutu, ambaye akosoba, baya eza beba mzigo, Intercessor, kama unajua ni intercessor, please lia machozi mengi kwa buwana. And I sought for a man amongst them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their only way have I recompensed upon their heads, says the Lord. Kiswele ngele samaji. Kiswele ngele samaji saimu hiyo, ambayo ni Ezekiel. Sura ke ni shirini na mbili. Lafu mstari wake ni talatini. Kuweza buwana soma hivi. Na nami nika tafuta mtu miongoni mwao. Atakai li eh, tingeneza boma. Intercessors utengeneza boma. The word boma inamanesha ukuta. Yani umajenga tunyumba mbazo, ayezi bamiwa na adui. Umajenga ukuta. So buwana sema mtu ambaye angeli tengeneza ukuta. Datu unafanya kwa maumbezi. Vile vile kusimama mbele zangu, mahala palipa bomoka. That means unasimama kuteta for repairs. Unasimama kuteta kwa ajili ya kujengwa nini? Kufanyishiwa uh, uh, orejesho ama marekebisho. Hapo jumusha toba pia. So, ili kujenga mahali palipo bomomoka kwa ajili ya nchi. Ili nisije ni kayaribu. Lakini si kuona mtu. Neno nchi inasimamia pia familia yako. Inawakilisha boma lako. Nyumba yako. Maina unamoka. Kanisa ni mwako uduma. 
so the word their land in maanisha vitu hivyo vyote ili nisije nikaiharibu lakini si kuona mtu so kanisani mko kaangalia who is the intercessor hakuna barabarani nani anaiombea hakuna familia nani anaiombea familia yenu hakuna Mungu akaangalia akasema kwa sababu hiyo nimemwaga ghadhabu yangu juu yao nimewatengeneza ama nimewateketeza kwa moto wangu wa hasira nami nimeileta nimeileta uh, njia yao wenyewe juu ya vichwa vyao yani hukumu yao wenyewe Mungu amwaletea asema Bwana Mungu if you are an intercessor basi rudi kwa Bwana unajukumusha kuombea kujiombea aswa eh lazima ujiombe although what in some means standing in the gap for someone else that someone else could be your pastor that someone else is your i mean a, a, a church member that someone else is your mother your brother your sister so mambo na awamu ya kwanza ya familia do you intercede for your family bwana yako amekuwa jinsi alivyo ulimwombea mara ya mwisho lini you will pretend that you are praying for you are praying for the king you pretend to be praying for the king but your husband huku huku chini mke wako watoto wako huku chini chini pastor wako huku chini chini uliwasahau mafuta mafuta na azianga charity begins at home and our purpose kuambiana vile watu ushike moto wa kuomba sawa sawa so that ujitoe katika hali ambazo saa hizi umepigwa na umekaliwa the anger ya Kenya iko na uzito utaiondoa mpaka mwenyewe upate nguvu fungua nyumba yako fungua kanisa lako fungua watu wenyu jifungue wewe yani ushajifungua ndio uweze kusaidia watu ndio hivi the same we see also in Ezekiel chapter number 13 kupiga hatua nyuma Ezekiel sura uh, 13 mstari wa 5 so Ezekiel sura 13 mstari wake ni watano amkupanda amkupanda kwenda mahali palipobomolewa wala hamkuitengeneza nyumba ya Israeli boma hamkuitengenezea nyumba ya Israeli boma ili wapate kusimama vitani katika siku ya Bwana intercessor Hamukupanda kwenda mahali palipo bomolewa you did not stand in the gaps wala hamkuitengenezea nyumba ya Israeli boma wala you did not build an age for the house of Israel that they may be able to stand in the day of the battle so wakati mkufanya hivyo msairi wa sita wameona ubatili na uganga wa uongo hawa wasemao Bwana asema lakini Bwana hakuwatuma. Nao wamewatama tum, wamewafanya nini? Wamewatumainisha watu uh, ya kuwa neno lile litatimizwa. So what is the the Lord speaking there to prophet? Mungu ana kisasi na intercessors. God has a beef with intercessors. And he's saying to Ezekiel 13 verse number 5 God is putting up his case and what is he saying that you have not gone up into the gaps neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord so the result is the same same prophets or intercessors should have done so they are now seeing vanity and lying divination saying that the Lord has said yet the Lord has not sent them they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word and so atari leo hiyo uki usipofanya toba intercessors must perform a toba mambo itakuwa mbaya so toba ni nini rudi katika huduma yako enda ombea kanisa la Enda ombea nabii uliyepewa ubebe kwa maombezi. Ombea mchungaji uliyepewa ubebe, ombea bwana yako, ombea mke wako waombe. Katika hali ya maombezi hayo ndio utapata nguvu ya kupigana vita vya kiroho sawasawa. 
Ada uwezi rusha makombora hewani. Na mwenye hata mikona yako rusha makombora haina nguvu. Bwana siwe. Wenye masikio na wafanya nini? And because una intercessor ambao unajifanya kwamba things are alright. There is nothing that is alright. Intercessor unja kujidanganya tu mambo ni sawa. Kuna mambo sawa. In fact, nakana wachana na chakula. Ulie kwa mungu sana. Sabu mungu akiaza kupiga watu juu atakupiga. Na judgment yako ni dabu kwa sababu wewe uliambiwa kaanga ukiomba na usikuizi umekaanga ukilala. Kuna wata wame intercessor ambao na ategime tu maombi ya pastor peke. So when I come here I pray is when they are also connecting. Ikiisha basa au pia imeisha. Chunga huku miyabwana. Well, ni saimu hiyo itaofa wa umbezi and so we want to ask all the intercessors that will be tuned in to our wall for info training and direction on how to pray. So on our intercessors wall uh, please stay tuned. Demands for the anointing for preservation. That was the prophetics. Let's share the word. Demands of the anointing for preservation. Tuangalia ujumbe wa leo. Mbae na tuangalia ujumbe wa leo ni mwendelezo ya ilambawa ni mekani kubiri. So demands of the anointing for preservation. Mahitaj, bazo shati ukaya, ukaya teke leza. Ili kwamba ukashiriki neema ya mafuta ya kuhifadhiwa. So ni matakwa yapi ukafanya kuyatimiza. Ili ushiriki faida ama neema ya mafuta ama upako kwa ajili ya kuhifadhiwa. So kuna mafuta ama upako ambao ni waroho mtakatifu ambao itakufawae katika kuhifadhiwa. So if you are to be uh, if you are to partake of the anointing for preservation, you be a beneficiary of that anointing. Then what are the demands what must you do? And that's what you want to look at today. We are, we our last um, our, our last sermon we checked on uh, we what we we checked on understanding dynamics of anointing for preservation. We looked at the understanding of dynamics of anointing for preservation. So that was our last broadcast. Na lifrai sana na mahubiri ya jana usu mfungo. Yaani umuhimu uh, wa kufunga chakula na jinsi inavyofanyesha huduma ya manabii ama huduma sorry huduma ya malaika wa Bwana. So huduma ya malaika wa Bwana kuna vile unapofunga chakula unaifanya unai unai unaifanyishia ama unaichachawiza. So you start up uh, angelic ministry by fasting ujumbe wa jana nilikuwa na ujumbe wa jana ni ujumbe ambao nilijenga moyo wangu sana i think some of us need angelic ministry right now the fasting is one way you fast right you start up and triggers angelic ministry in your life and i think mungu uh, awasaidieni so that amongst uh, our many broadcasts you also able to tune in for other various um, uh, sermons that um, we keep posting and uh, primary hallelujah so nikawa nimehubiri nime kuhusu dynamics ama utendakazi wa mafuta ama upako wa kuhifadhiwa. So lazima uwe na ufahamu mafuta hiyo inafanya kazi namna gani. Anointing does not just work, mafuta ifanye tu kazi. It demands an effort on your side, deliberate effort to draw it on your side. Kama mungu atakuhifadhi, kama mafuta hiyo ya kuhifadhi itakufaa. Basi juu ya jinsi ya kuivutia upande wako, ama jinsi ya kujitegemeza. You need to learn how to position yourself so that that anointing is attracted your way. Hallelujah. You must be deliberate. It must be very conscious. Uh, it, must be, uh, it must be an act 
there must be a working of faith. Asa lazima ufahamu sana. Ni nini unaweza fanya? What do you do? Unafanya vitu gani? Ili mafuta haya kakufa. Why are we really focusing right now on the anointing for preservation? Bona tunaangalia sana mfanyiko wa mafuta hii ama upako wa kuhifadhiwa. Let's look at Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. Tuanze na Hosea 12 verse number 13. And uh, kama mwalimu I will always want to juggle your mind so that uh, uh, your mind be dispositioned in the direction that uh, we can walk together and you don't lose anything. You lay hold, you grasp everything and so that uh, you don't miss out on anything. So kama mwalimu nafanya ku kujaribu kuivuta mawazo na akili zako nikayapindua yakapata kuenenda katika mrengo mmoja ama mfanyiko mmoja na mimi ili usipoteze chochote ulisahau usisahau chochote na usilewelewe tu badala yake uwe wa kuelewa na Hosea 12 mstari wa 13 Yasema hivi Hosea sura ni 12 mstari wa 13 So English says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved Na kwa nabii Bwana alimkomboa Israeli toka Misri Vile vile kwa nabii Israeli alihifadhiwa so the word there is the word preserved na majira ambamo tumo sasa tumeingia katika kipindi cha kuna hali ambayo Bwana ametuonyesha na amekuwa akisema hukumu juu ya inchi ya Kenya na hukumu hii wakati Mungu ana hukumu ulimwengu ana hukumu sasa kuihukumu Kenya anatangaza so Mungu si muovu kama atahukumu ndoa anatangaza mwanzo kama atahukumu kanisa anatangaza mwanzo kama atahukumu inchi atatangaza mwanzo god will always announce before he judges and that informs the ministry of a prophet so huduma ya mtu nabii ama huduma ya nabii mungu ameyeka pale maana nabii huwa anatumwa kupeana ilani give them notice That's why God will always have prophets until the church is raptured. Nabii anatumwa kubandika ilani, anabandika. Hata maneno anawaambia nimeweka ilani hiyo kama juu kusoma na wasomeni. Eh, hey, someni ilani hii. Njaa inakuja, mauti inakuja, uchumi mgumu unakuja, hali ya kiangazi inakuja. Bwana asema notice ni wewe nimewekea. Mkibishana sana kuisoma yeye anawekea na anaenda amwekea kwa ukuta someni public notice but tunapata wale wazima wengine wanasema hatutaki notice on irarua whether you rarua the notice it does not change anything god has warned you kwamba na hukumu dunia na hukumu nchi na hukumu watu na mara nyingi atawaambia sababu gani atawaambia sababu ya mimi kuwa hukumu ni matendo kama haya na haya na haya na yale The reason why I will judge or I'm coming to judge is because of this. God never judges without announcing. He first must announce. That's that's why Jeremiah chapter number this chapter number 8 and verse number 9 Jeremiah ameka nabii ambaye kazi yake ni kuwatangazia. So he say will I not visit for such things? will i not visit je mimi sita hukumu kwa ajili ya mambo kama haya hmm? will i not visit so let's look at uh, jeremiah chapter chapter number 8 and verse number 12 maybe we begin from verse number 9 to verse number 12 but let me just uh, have us read at verse number pata hapo 
It talks about judgments. I love how the Lord says, Will I not visit for such things? Now, in fact, also verse number seven, take it, write it down. You can soma, you stem it up from there. Ukiangalia yote, be able to understand it. And it says, shall I not visit for such things? Jemi, kwa nisitafanya kuhukumu, wali ya mambo kama, kama hayo, will I not visit? So he talks about his judgment. Now verse number 7, that's Jeremiah chapter 8. Ye, the stock in the heaven knoweth her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the what? The time of their coming. But my people, no, not the judgment of the Lord. So that's why Habiana Tumwa. Watu wangu lakini hawajui. Hawajui. Hukumu ya buwana. They have not. Do, they, my people know not the judgment of the Lord. How do you say verse 8? We are wise and, uh, and uh, the law of the Lord is with us. Law certainly in vain. made he eat. The pain of the tribe is in vain. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord and uh, what wisdom is in them. Verse 10, Therefore will I give their wives unto others judgment and their fields to them that shall inherit them. That's judgment. For everyone uh, from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. From the prophet even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. Reason for judgment. Verse 11, for they have healed the heart of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace. Peace when there is no peace. Lying prophets. Verse 12. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not ashamed at all. Neither could, um, could they blush. Therefore shall they fall amongst them. Therefore, in the time of their visitation, they shall be cast, uh, they shall, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. Mark the word in the time of their visitation. You can underline it. Swell is the same. Here, 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 Siku ya ujio wa buwana. Siku hiyo ya ujio wa buwana. Buwana sema kwamba watafanishiwa nini? Atafanisha. Atawapa hukumu. Atafanya kuwa hukumu. Swell is the same. Here, Swell is the same. Here, Mia Sula ni nane. Basi mtari wa saba. So men. Nam kwa ikoi angani ajua nyakati zake zilizo azimi, a, amriwa. Na huwa nambayu mbayu hata na korongo waangalia uh, wakati wakuja kwao. Bali watu wangu hawajizijui amri za buwana. Mwasemaji, sisi tunahakili. Diyo na vyosema. Na torati ya buwana pia tunayo. Ndivyo tunavyo sema. Lakini, tazama. Kalamu yenye uongo ya wahandishi imeifanya kuwa uongo. Wenye hekima, wametahayari. Wamefadhaika na kufanywa na kushikwa. Basi tazama. Wamelikata neno la buwana. Wanahakili gani ndani yao? Basi, kwa hiyo nitawapa watu wengine wake zao. That is judgment. Yuni hukumu. Na mashamba yao nitawapa wale watakao ya miliki. Yuni hukumu. Duka yako, vitu vyako, shamba lako, umiliki wako unapeanwa. Mme unapeanwa mke wako kwa mwingine. Mke mawako na, na chukuleo na mtu mwingine. Maana kila mmoja wao, tangu alia mdogo hata alia mkubwa. Ni mtamanifu. Tangu nabi hata kuhani ni tamanifu. Kila mmoja hutenda mambo ya udanganyifu. Kwa maana wameiponya jeraha ya binti ya watu wangu kwa jujusu. Wakisema amani, amani. Wala hapana amani. Je, wali, tahaya, wali tahayarika. Wali pokuwa wametenda machukizo. La. Hawa kutahayarika. Wala hawa kuweza 
kuona haya usoni basi wataanguka miongoni mwao waangukao wakati wa kujiliwa kwao wataangushwa chini asema bwana nitawaangamiza kabisa asema bwana pana zabibu katika madhabibu mizabibu wala tini katika mitini hata jani lake likanyauka na vitu vile nilivyowapa vitawapotea that means Mungu anakuondoa baraka aliyokupea wala bado nafikiri kama God cannot change his mind about a blessing we Mungu anaweza kunyang'anya baraka aliyokupea maana anayatumia i prayed for ni mai am na mimi nasema yenye nimenifanyikia kuna watu nimewaombea hapa maana walikuja kama wana hukumu ya Bwana ama walikuja kama kuna hali ambazo zimewa zimewafinya bas nikafundisha nikawaokoka wakabadilika hapa ama wakatubu bas sasa moyo iposta mimi sitanga kazi nambe hey, na niko na driving license jaya andiko kazi Pastor ndio kenda kuombea but kwa masharti hivi kaa kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Sema ndio mimi nitakuwa nakaa kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Yaani utadumu katika uokovu. Baada ya kumuombea siku hiyo hiyo anapata kazi. So kanisa akuje tena kidogo oh tuko machakos oh tumeenda kitale oh tumeenda mali fulani. Kazi ile ya baraka ni kana kwamba anaitumia kusonga mbali na Mungu. Pesa zikawa nyingi sasa ni kulewa na lewa pombe. Na ujue ni kazi imepeanwa na Bwana, tumemwombea. Yaani amevuna baraka ya Mungu kanisani. So anaitumia kulewa pombe, anaitumia kuweka mwanamke haramu. Eh? Unaweka na mpango wa kando maana kipesa kimeongezeka so you have lots of money now. Nikasema, "Hey, ambie ni fulani huyo, his name was Victor. Ambie ni Victor akuje kanisani." Nikimpiga simu Victor, oh mchungaji. Leo niko Kapsabet. Tutakuja kanisani. People think that when we pray for you things is because we want you in the church. So wakati akukuja nikasikia eh hey, siku hizi nikolewa na lewa nikasema hey, nimempatia mwezi mmoja. Vitu vya baba yetu tuko na haki ya kuziitisha. Kaambia na Huyo ni Vincent mwenye aliokoka hadharani kanisani. Akamkiri Yesu hadharani. Akaombewa akafanikiwa. Ndio saizi anaibisha Mungu na ile baraka aliyopewa. Tutaitisha. Na ni mwa itisha na ikakuwa. Kuliko waibishe jina la Kristo Yesu. We cannot allow you continue unasema eh naona yule mlevi aliombewa na unyango hata mashairi unasema Unaona huyu aliombewa na onyango ndio huyu anafanya mambo kama kuabisha Yesu. Aliombewa na yule onyango ndio unaona yule anafanya hivi. So pia mimi sitaki kuharibiwa jina. Sema wewe niambini nikaambia familia yake ambini Victor. Nimepea mwezi mmoja arudi kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Hata hizo kazi tutaambia Bwana hiyo kazi iishe. Please mimi sina bwa kwanza fanya hivyo maana Yeremia alifanya hivyo na ndiye anaongelea. Mungu anaweza Mungu mwenyewe anasema anaweza itisha baraka zake alikupea. Hata mapema kama leo. Unajua pia siku ya mwisho pia utaitishwa. Zile baraka ulipewa ulifanya nazo nini? So tunaenda kwa maandiko hapo. So Vincent hakuonekana. Si okay, siku, siku tatu zimeisha baba. Kuna watu kanisani hawana kazi. Naomba kwamba eh, Vincent asizidi kuaibisha ufalme wako na jina la Kristo Yesu. Na Mungu Baba na tubu maana nilimwitishia hiyo baraka. Please nimekuja kusema Mungu kama utaniwia radhi please pea mtu mwingine kazi. Then seven days akuwa na kazi. So nikasikia sasa ndaya kujiua huko. Analewa kulewa ya kukufa. Asema atajinyonga nikaambiwa kanisani kuna mtu amesema anaji. Kaambia ukijinyonga utaenda motoni. Na hiyo ni shauri yako. Please ndio maana mwasomeni yomalike kwa Biblia hapa. Bwana anasema kwamba hmm? ataitisha hata baraka aliyowapatia. Is that not in Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse number hmm? verse number 
if you continue reading it. Therefore will I give their wives unto others and their fields to them that shall inherit them. Baraka yako munga naeza mua kaigeuza peane kuingine. For everyone from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. Iyo ndiyo hukumu. From the prophet even unto the priest, everyone deals falsely. For they have healed the heart of my, the daughter of my people slightly saying, peace, peace, peace. Why there is no peace? For they are ashamed when they had committed abomination. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. Ujio wabwana wakati bwana atawatemelea. Ujio huu ni ujio ambao naita kama judgment, hukumu. When God visit, in fact, the, there's a portion where God is asking, shall I not visit for such things? I will surely consume them, says the Lord. That's verse number 13. There shall be no grapes on the vine, no figs on the fig tree. And the leaves shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. Barakazile ni mwapatia, itawaondoka. So you lose things. Na shudu wei mungu ni mekosi ya wapi? Please, na wambia leo, huku miangwe kiazanga. Some of his, his blessing that he blessed you with slips out of your hand. Wei mungu li nepea kazi. Iyo kazi munga na wacha tena kui protect, and that's what informs preservation, what we want to talk about today. So why do we sit still? Verse 14. Assemble yourselves and let us enter into the defense cities and let us be silent there. For the Lord our God has put us to silence and given us water of God to drink because we have sinned against the Lord. Sari wa kumunaene aongelea hali ya kujifanya kujinyekesha mbele za buwana wakatu mesha gundua barakazake zime kutoka. And that's why people run to church. Woy, hile kazi meisha. Woy, hile mwanaumba mene wacha. Oi, yule mwanamke ameenda tena. I pray for a man ambaye mke wake ali mke wake alipotea. Ya mwanaume mwingine. Mwanaume akalia. Mja kanzani akalia. Mja, mjo mwanamume ukinyang'anywa mwanamke ukinyang'anywa mume. That's the most common. Sababu mpango wa kando wengi wanajitengeneza tengeneza paka mwanamume anasahau mke wake. So, the most common leo hii my husband has been snatched from me. But the, some of the rare uh, episodes, my rare ex, uh, experiences today, I have heard those ones. Any wing is squeezed. I have heard those ones. Anasema, na uyo mwenye mchukua mke wako na ngapi? Kama yaka kijana kadogo tu. <laughs> ah, some men need counseling. So I prayed for a man mke wako ya karudia. As long as unawombia mke wako ya karudia kukanisani. Kila siku wa kukanisani. Hakosi ibada na kuja mapema. Anatoa, anabehave kama mkriso kamili. As, mka iti, ambia baba. Mahali uyo mwana mke. Kuna mwana ume baba ambaye ya juku owa. Anajua kunye meletu wana waka wenyewe. Ha, baba mwanaume kama huyo naomba sasa mke wako ishuke na ghadhabu mahali iko na kulipigwa kule mpaka mwanamke akataka kurudi kwa bwana yake na lerudi akaomba tumiwe tikiti na karudi akirudi pa mwanaume amesahau mambo ya kanisa aonekane tena so baada ya unasikia hoi pastor mke wangu ameenda tena <laughs> that means baraka amerudi tena maana walisahau Na wakiso wengine wenyu hapa mko hivyo. You are here because hukumu ya mungu kuna mahali penye baraka ilikuenda. Please, siyo shetani utalaumu. Uwe, shetani amenifanya, shetani amenifanya. Nita kushaki kwa baba, shetani we ni mbaya. Urongo. Some of you, hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Ni wewe wakati mungu alikusfanyishia memo kasa hao. Ukarudi katika hali zile za zamani. No appreciation. So mga kaangalia kasema, eh, hey, kuna watu natumia baraka zangu vibaya. Baraka ika kukawukia. Nasa vile mekondokea, umegutuka tena. Wete vudi mahali penye nipata msaada. You are back to the house of God. Ok, kuna hili ya mashetani. Ya mashetani tunasot. Hili ya mashetani tunajua kushugulikia <laughs> kwa neema ya buwana. 
ya Mungu tafadhali tunabembele zanga Mungu judgment now there is an anointing or a dimension of anointing for prisa vision elewa kwamba Mungu anapokubariki amekusudia kwamba baraka yako hiyo ikakufaa siku zote lakini kuna ma, kuna mambo ambazo lazima ukafanye you are never preserved forever Mungu hata tuhifadhi milele yani ma, ma, mafuta ile ya kutuhifadhi sio guarantee that it is tano that mimi sasa vile nimeokoka automatically i'll be protected automatically i'm preserved itafanya uwe na kiburi so preservation is conditional <laughs> hallelujah katika usome wa biblia na mimi pia kuta, kutangamana na Mungu na experience nayo kwa Mungu preservation is conditional kama utahifadhiwa na mafuta ya Bwana ni kwa masharti you you, uh, you you choose not to go by the conditions you choose not to abide by the conditions then pole pole you forfeit the benefits of preservation wala ambao unasema ah poso ni urongo mimi nilisha nilibarikiwa na bwana nimeoa mke wa pili na bwana nimebarikiwa sema oh tiana 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 tena nasema tu okay fanya tu kukejeli mungu hadi hakiwi chochote mtu pandacho utavuna so kama utafanya kufaidika na mfanyiko wa upako wa bwana katika hali ya kuhifadhiwa you must be accountable you must be accountable you must be accountable you must align yourself with the demands that are demanded if they are not in preserve you kuna mambo ambazo lazima ukafanya kama mafuta ile itakufaa so same way ndio sema ambao wakristo wengi ni vipof wanajua tukuomba baraka Mungu nibariki Mungu nibariki wakisha barikiwa poo thank you Jesus umenibariki lakini kuna kitu wao wanasahau na it's so silent in fact hata mimi it took the holy ghost it took the anointing of god for me to find this revelation pamba hata biblia inapozungumzia it does not even give it a lot of weight in uh, by prophet isaiah Eh, Isaiah hajaipa nimi I mean Nabii Yeremia hajaipatia uzito sana. Sehemu ya mfanyiko wa kuhifadhiwa baada ya kubarikiwa. Unaweza barikiwa nikwambie na baraka inaweza fika mali na kauka. Baraka unaweza barikiwa baraka inaweza ibiwa. Unaweza barikiwa na Mungu baraka inaweza haribika. Unaweza barikiwa na Mungu baraka huwa ikai. Pesa zinambao inaweza buruka. Zinaweza enda there are some principles that uh, you can if you break them you can all remain blessed Jose anasema hivi na tazama vile anaisema haijapena uzito sana maana ni meaning kama ni meaning ngeandika in fact ninge underline you with the capital letters but uh, si kuandika Jose nilipate imeandikwa what does it say I'm sorry Jose 12 mstari wa 13 na kwa nabi Neno ambalo limu na herufi kubwa ni Bwana alimtoa Israeli toka Misri. Now the word kumtoa imechukuliwa tu kama neno jingine tu. It in fact is in small letters. You can miss it. Hata unaweza soma na kwa nabi Bwana alimtoa Israeli toka Misri. Na kwa mikono ya nabi alihifadhiwa. In fact the word ilifadhiwa unaweza unaweza kosa ta kuitaja. It doesn't sound as though it has weight. But you know that uh, the word preservation and the word being delivered are the core are the crust 
on that verse. Being delivered as well as being preserved. So, if you look at what are the heaviest matters that comes out in that verse, one is the prophet. Two is deliverance. Three is preservation. So, today, what on a USM Yana B, on a USM Yamungu Yani Buana, and they know the place Yakutolewa mystery, but he is a me Fanyua Kuifadiwa Papana, you are a watcher. And that informs why we may find a cooking beer of one at ten. We will not return. Wamini ba mungu ina barakuli ni pea. Woi mungu imepotea siyeliu ni naendelea. Oh, ni preservation ulitupa. You ulikata being preserved. Ile bidi ulitafta na yo mungu ilu kaifadhiwa. The, the, the quest, the diligence with which you pursued God to be delivered by his prophet. Or the quest with which you pursued God to work deliverance for you by his prophet is the very same quest you need to be preserved. To be preserved. So, I'm going to talk to you about the message that I pray for a man and I'm going to talk to you about the message that I pray for a man and I'm going to talk to you about the message that I pray for a Nilishtuka hata mimi kadhaa kisa kutaka jua nimeshtuka maana nikishtuka sasa ataniamini tena ni mimi mtu wa Mungu. So sometimes najikaza kama mwanajeshi. <laughs> Lakini na leo moyo nyasai. Hii ndio ngozi nitaguza. Eh? Ama huyu baba ni ama huyu ni mermaid. Unajua sisi kuna mama na wake ambao wanavaa long ni kuna ni mermaid tu. Sasa huyu mwanaume ambaye ni baba ngozi yake kuanzia hapa. Alafu naishi kwa mkono hapa. Eh? Hey. So I paint for real. It was on a Friday, come leo. Nafanya, nikuwa nafanya nga deliverance services mchana. So nikaletua uyo mzee kutoka bungoma. He was 68 years. Maisha ime mpiga kumpiga. Asa uzini kwa nimekua notice mapema, nikambua na watoto wake. Waki baba yeto nakuanga na ngozi kama ya nyoka. Akitua tu shati hivi. Kambia haya. Kasa mba tutataka tumulete umuombe. Kato kesawa tu. Because wezi fukuza mutu wa siombewe. Nye alipokuja hata mili shtuka. Atisi kuonyesha. You need this. That's what you need. Kuna, kuna roo munga kupatie. Roo wa ujasiri. Imagine at the end of it lazimu guza imuyo mutu. Katika china la yesu. Na amorisha ukoma utoke. Katika jina la Yesu. Kidu kiyo wewe ni mwago nasema. Katika jina la Yesu. Ambaya na kuombe lakini it does not touch you. Lazima tu power ikushuke mali uko. <laughs> Sometimes ni woga. Nikiguza yonyoka na fikiri. Hey, na aluro gino na ugopa. Anyway that man. Nili muombe. Hakule nyama. Hakule mayai. Hakule mchele. Hakule samaki. Hiyo hakule sukari. Sijui ya hakule mafuta. Yani hakule vitu hivyo vyote. Sabi ya hali yake ya ugonjwa, sabi diabetes, nini, 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 vitu mingi tu. Halikuwa na pandagari kutoka bungoma, kukuja Eldred Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital. Kila mwezi, mara moja tu and fro. Analipa shilingi elufu sita kwa ajili ya madao. Na maifanya hivyo kila mwezi. Kwa muda. Until wakasikie kwa mahali. Kama munga na saidi ya watu. So that is money. So kama ni kwa mwaka moja piga isabu. E, mwaka moja na mizi kumi na mwini. So that's already 72,000. Piga isabu ya transport to and fro. Hii taingia laki moja. Sasa. Kamuombea. Free. Atu ilichangi pesa. Free. Hakuna vitamba tunakuuzia. Hakuna maji tunakupea. Hakuna mafuta tunakuuzia. 
absolutely free. Bwana kampoya. Na siku hiyo ngozi ya nyoka ile ikapotea became normal. Sio baada ya siku the same day it was a Friday. Kaambia sasa mzee nataka unasema ukidange chakula gani? Ore liambua siku lange sukari, siku lange chumvi, alafu siku lange samaki na siku le mchele na nyama pia siku le. Yaani rodha ya vyakula ambavyo hali kama ukuli hizo vitu duniani si ukufe because hivi vitu vimo duniani mkakatupatia tukule haleluya the only time you don't eat them is when you are fasting and that's out of choice ukianza kuambia usikule hii usikule hii usikule ice cream usikule sukari na vitu tamu tamu na washia nani usikule nyama utakuwa unakula nini wewe ni wewe ni wewe ni ngombe so hizi vitu mnga matupatia tukule ukianza pata kwamba uzikuli basi unjue kwamba baraka huko kwa barabara nje ya baraka unafuga ngombe lakini ukunywe maziwa ha ninakamulia wengine ndio nauziwa wewe ni mtu wa turungi black tea yani umefuga eh, umefuga mbuzi lakini ukuli nyama so what are they for mafuga kuku na ukule mayai mbono na yafuga in the first place prayed for the man god healed him alienda waza so sikioni kafanya kaambia sasa ndaka uanzie hapa eh, and then hapa kwa samaki ndio hiyo is live peleke ni jamaa mzee akule alafu mrudishe hapo na pia kunywe vitu tamu ndaka kunywe soda ya sukari fanta orange Ali unyo yote hapa jamaa mzee ame amerudi kwa kijana uso yake na ngara na smile smile jamaa yako na nguvu naambia sasa unazaenda Bungoma sema ndio pasa umekula kuku umekula samaki ndio umekula na nini na mchele ambia shetani ni muongo makubali umekata hati kweli si kwa Yesu ni kuzuri si umekula mm muda gani tangu kule hivi kula pasa ni muda mrefu sana kaambia aenda nyumbani kula nyama kwanza leo sasa umekula samaki lunch jioni kaambia wasikana wake ni nyama ndio Hali yake imerudi kawaida, hakuna pressure, hakuna nini. Ile barabara ya kujanga referral ya mwezi liisha. So, mzee akonekana tena anasikia tu mzuri. Sisi hatukuitishangi pesa na tufanye biashara ya kuitisha watu pesa. But na expect kwamba wewe kichwa yako iwe mzuri. Enda kwa Mungu na masadaka na madhabihu za shukrani. Fanya hagano na Mungu, jenga kanisa. What are you tapping into? Preservation. Ile baraka baada ya miezi nane. Nikaambia na msichana wangu mwingine, "Oi, pastor, naona wamekuja." Baba yetu ile hali yake imerudi, ambia hali gani? Oi, tena squeeze. Eh, ile ugonjwa wake imerudi. Sisi tunataka kusikia hata zaidi hapo. Nilisikia tu nimekasirika na wao. wakati tunapiga mashetani kwa niaba yako tunaomba tunajihatarisha sisi maana kuna ma, ukikomboa mtu kama huyo we ni adui wa ibilisi na mapepo wake wote siku gani utapata huyo nyango lakini wewe pia watakuwa na kuandama so hata si kufunga chakula kukuombea alafu kama hiyo umeshapata mema alafu baadaye unarudi unasema woi ile mambo mle niombea sasa after 8 months it expire then in short sasa so, nimesha shindwa tena adui amerudi. Sema wewe, well, naambia miezi nane hizi zote mzee wako alikuwa wapi? Bwana baba yenu alikuwa wapi? Ati yako ako to reserve nyumbani. Naambia eh. Yeah. Amkufikiria hata kwenda kufanya kitu kwa nyumba ya Mungu. They got deliverance. They got their healing. Walipata uponyaji na ukombozi. Wakaingia kwa baraka ya Bwana. Wakaona mambo mazuri kwa Bwana. Wakafurahi kwa Bwana. But for eight months. Kwani Mungu anashindwa wangu? Do you think God is defeated? Mungu ashindwe. Lakini jua kwamba kuna ujinga lingia hawa watu. They never open their eyes to part B of Hosea 12:13 hawakufungua macho yao 
kwa mfanyiko sehemu ya pili ya Hosea 12 mstari wa 13 sehemu yake ya ba maana sehemu ya a inasema na kwa nabii bwana alimtoa Israeli toka Misri sehemu ya a is not a full stop is a comma is it in your bible na kwa mkono wa nabii alihifadhiwa sehemu hii ya ba the b section of this verse which is and by the hand of the prophet were they preserved this one they were blind to it he walisahau kwanza walikuwa vipofu mmoja anaweza sherekea mama mpaka kwa sahau bwana ukasahau leo na sahau na litumana is it uh, someone sent a clip ya wacheza mpira mtu aka 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 piga kombora that mpira akilia kombora na goalkeeper akafanya nini akazulia ule ule mpira basi goalkeeper akaondoka kwa kishangilia kifurahi vile ame save vile ame komboa hiyo bao ijaingia lakini in the meantime ile mpira na dunda dunda tu na dunda 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 mpaka hatimaye kaingia wapi kwenye goal ten hasa baada hasa furaha imekuwa ni kilio tena wa so what happens most of us rejoice so much and we forget to, to maintain our victory unashangilia mpaka unasahau jinsi ya kudhibiti ushindi ulioupata we fail to uh, meet the demands so the demands that are, are not for preservation um, demands that are expected for us to be preserved so mfanyiko wa mafuta ile ambayo imefanyisha wewe kukuokolewa upande wake ndio unafanyika kukuhifadhi so in short ule mzee when after they were go they go healed for the entire eight months they never bothered to interact and apply part b of that verse they were never preserved so can you imagine for kwa miezi 8 shetani alikuwa anacheza mbali for eight months shetani anacheza kiogopa tu anangojanga tu siku gani ndapata nafasi hapa the anointing for you being preserved hallelujah that anointing is not automatic siku okoka jana kwa neema ya Mungu kuna mambo najua out of experience and that's why i cancel nuna ngao tambao kila mara narudi wanarudi after 8 months shida yao imerudi after 6 months shida zao zimerudi mwingine after 1 year shida zake zimerudi why because of kwamba kuna mambo ambazo nipuuza mafuta ya kukuhifadhi mtu hujitegemeza na mtu huichochea ili kakufanyishia kazi because if you don't get preserved you shall lose what you got kama hautaifadhiwa utapoteza baraka ama ushinde ule ambao ulipata you can lose your deliverance that's why kuna watu mapepo inarudi baada ya kutolewa mashetani wanakurudia baada ya kuondolewa lakini warudi immediately but unfortunately for some hata immediately wanarudi kama umetupiga kanisani tunangoja wewe kwa nyumba siku hiyo nyoleombewa ndio siku nyu na kanyoga na mashariki usiku mpaka unashinda kwani ile maombi ilikuwa ni maombi ya kuamrisha mashetani wakuja wholesale hapana kuna vitu ambavyo hujui now katika msimu huu wa Uh, ambao anawaambia nchi ya Kenya tuna tumetangaziwa hukumu. Ni mtu mzima anasema oye tunakataa hiyo mambo ya huyo nyango. Tunapinga hizo midomo za unabii za giza. Tunakataa hizo zote. Endelea kukataa. <laughs> Baba yako akisema atakuchapa. Eh? Acha uende barabara useme mimi babangu hatanichapa. Nimekataa sitachapwa. Utalala kwa nani? Si bado tu utalala kula kwa hiyo boma kelele yako kule barabarani haitazulia vichapu ya baba yako baba yako asemoke okay, nimekata stima hiyo nyumba 
nikalala nimekata stima nimekata maji alafu eh, <laughs> nimetoa mlango vile landlord ulibomoa milango za nyumba ndio hami hata pige makelele imebomolewa so you imagine some people like judgment has been announced and they are like hakuna it will never happen it will never happen eh? baba akamsema baba uwezi uwezi kunifanyishia hivyo nimekataa bala unyenyeke kwa baba yako unaonyesha vitisho that's what some people are doing right now lakini kama una akili jo kwamba wakati wa hukumu kuna vile wewe utahifadhiwa lakini kuhifadhiwa kwako ni kwamba wewe unjua jinsi ya kusimama katika hali ambayo hali ambayo inavutia neema ya kuhifadhiwa Vi, baraka zile ulipewa na Mungu wema ule ambao Mungu alikupatia mema yote ambazo Mungu alikutendea mazuri zote ambazo ulitendewa ushindi zote ulizozipata afya kazi biashara chakula mm, mambo zote biashara yani hali ya wewe kuwa na yani hali za wema ambazo ulipata jua kama unaweza zipotea unaweza poteza lakini pia unaweza kufanya kanazo na ukazi hifadhi lakini kwa mfanyiko wa mafuta ya kuhifadhiwa so what must you do vitu gani ambazo unafanya so katika msimu na majira haya ya hukumu ambayo umejua itakula nchi ni kwamba fanya kushikilia imani yako kwa Mungu na neno lake you must believe you must remain in faith in God and his word so kuna mambo ambazo they should not happen to you never come to a place of doubting God's word you remain full of faith you are faith full full of faith Hebrews 11 verse number 6 Bible says for without faith it is impossible for anyone to do what to please God then it says but be that for any anyone who approaches God must first believe that he is God that is also a reward of them who diligently seek him so that portion of the bible talks about faith kwamba pasipo imani haitawezekana mtu yeyote kumpendeza nani mungu hivyo basi yeyote yule anayemjongelea mungu sharti akafanya kuamini kwamba yeye ni mungu na kwamba yeye wadawabia wote wale ambao humtafuta kwa bidii. So ni mfanyiko ya imani. So kuna tendo la onyesho la imani. Haleluya. So unaamini Mungu pamoja na neno lake. And so second chronicles also chapter 20 and uh, part C second chronicles chapter 20 verse number 20 part C And so Joshua tell, told them so Joshua akawaambia nasema mambo ya nyakati wa pili sura ni 20 mstari ni wa 20 sehemu yake ni sehemu ya cha Pale tuna Joshua akanena na anawaambia anawaambia vipi kwamba na amenini Bwana Mungu wenu nanyi mtapata kuimarishwa ama kuthibitishwa hivyo hivyo amini ni pia manabii wake nanyi mkapata nini mkapata kufanikiwa haya sehemu hiyo ya of, uh, mambo ya nyakati atozofal mambo ya nyakati sura 20 so second chronicles 2020 this is what um, part C of verse number 20 says So Joshua is the king and uh, the word of prophecy comes and uh, it given to him and then he also proclaimed the same word na uh, so part A all of us know it but I'm interested in part number B part number C sorry that um, he says this So Joshua in it was part number A wakamka asubuhi na mapema wakaenda nje katika jangwa la Tekoa nao walipofika uh, waki 
walipokuwa wakitoka Yoshefati akasimama na akasema Nisikieni enyi Yuda nanyi wenyeji wa Yerusalemu Muaminini Bwana Mungu wenu ndivyo mtakavyo thibitika So kuthibitika ni sababu vile na maua ama mapando haya maua ona yamekasa wasawa pale eh kwenye chombo cha maua iko na uthabiti mkristo ambaye una uthabiti nimesimama katika hali ya kuthibitika maana nina afya nina nguvu nina uhai nina na amani nimo sawa sawa nimethibitika so bwana yoshefata ananena neno la unabii kwa wana wa Israeli wana wa Juda kwamba amenini bwana Mungu wenu ndivyo mtakavyo thibitika waaminini manabii wake na hapa naamini manabii watakatifu ndivyo mtakavyo fanikiwa so neno uh, la unabii pale kwamba kuna vile unaweka imani kwa Mungu na ina matokeo ama ina baraka yake kuthibitika ama kuimarika amini pia manabii wake dan kuna sehemu ya baraka na uyupata. Sehemu gani hiyo kufanikiwa. Uza manabii wake utahangaika utahangaika chini ya jua. So baraka ambazo mwezipata. Kila ambacho kimefichika hapa ni kwa mandani ya nabii Mungu amekupatia kuna mfanyiko wa neema unayovutia neema ya kuhifadhiwa. Kuhifadhiwa ndiko kunakuwa na afya. Kuhifadhiwa ndiko kunakuwa na ulinzi kuhifadhiwa ndio kunakuwa na kibali kuhifadhiwa ndio unakuwa na hali ya kuzidi kufaidika na mema ambazo Mungu amekupea you abandon the prophet god gave you wana vile utakuwa na hali ya giza jangwa setin maana neema ya wewe kuhifadhiwa okay i shukengi direct kwako god does not do so otherwise god will be very unfair towards the prophets of him ametuweka sisi na kitu ambaye hajakuwekea wewe that's why we are prophets and you are not and if you be a prophet then there is somewhere you draw grace ameweka ndani yetu kitu ambayo utaivutia si automatically kuna vile utafanya haleluya and that's why eh? you may not love a prophet you may not like a prophet lakini ni sawa na dakika na hospitali ukipata daktari ambaye kwa hospitali siku hiyo awe ni mweusi awe ni mfupi eh awe ni landere landere ni mslende ama mslenda mwembamba kama mimi sitakini nikuzo na ma, na ma, ma daktari ambao nakaa kana kwa mwana angu kana kifafa naenda kama upepe na pele <laughs> landere no endo emotingo mwa konyi nasema huyo huyo daktari anasema huyo daktari na kama mwembamba ni kama anabeba na upepo huyo mwenye anabeba na upepo na amebeba nini <laughs> ndio daktari ambaye ako siku hiyo anaitwa resident doctor <laughs> resident physician na hata kama umtaki lazima utafute recommendation yake awe na sababu ya kumesho kwamba hauwezi tibiwa hapa wewe ni pengine you need to do what to position yourself kwa kibali yake ujitegemeze ili kile mafuta maibeba itaipokea for your preservation Na hii hali ya kuvuta ile mafuta ndio hali ambazo lazima ukashikamana na matakwa haya ambazo maandiko inasema hmm? matakwa ambayo nafundishe the demands hmm, of that anointing for your preservation which is believe God believe his word believe his prophets hallelujah You must have faith in his chosen prophet number two. Uwe na imani kwa nabii ambaye Bwana amekuchagulia. So imagine una mimba alafu unaambiwa daktari ambaye okay excuse unaweza chagua daktari sitaki daktari mwa Afrika ndaka nikiza daktari ambaye ananizalisha maigaino awe ni mzungu. Please ena mali mzungu yuko. You choose there. Ah napenda gaino ambaye ni muhindi today hii hospitali ya Moitin na Rifaro Hospital unapata wanawake wote wanapenda huyo daktari muhindi mama huyo muhindi there's a gynecologist pale ka, ka, kahindi ni mke ni muhindi 
Anaongea tu vizuri kanapenda watu. Sasa so, wanawake wote mimi 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 nataka huyo. Hapo hapo tu. But anyway, the things of God sio hivyo. God chooses for you a prophet. Mwambie ndio huyo, that's your prophet. Sijui tunahitaji zote. Kufungua kuyafungua ni kwa huyo prophet. Yeye ndio mwenye kufungua. Na ndio maana kuna watu ambao kutulinga mawe, tudharau tulinga mawe. Ufungo zako tumebeba. Utakwama kwa maisha. So you must have faith in his in God's ordained prophet. Is it not that one there? If you want prosperity, God has given <laughs> has given uh, that grace. He has packaged it in a prophet. But believe in God, yes, believe because you cannot partake of the prophetic grace minus you having believed in God. They are same twins. So sema mimi na mimi tu Mungu there is no prophet who shall lay his hand on me i can only be preserved by god si Mungu wako pale tumwendie sisi sote Miriam alijaribu hao na Harun haikufanya kazi sema kwani Musa ndio nabii peke yake we cannot access god this is kwani this Moses in fact is our small brother but then Moses alikuwa the third born Miriam first born Harun second i mean the big brother second born that is and Harun was i mean and uh, and Moses was the third born. So imagine when Dugzaka and Sema, Kwani, we are Kwani Aka Katoto, in fact, not of water. No new will cause a new law. Who is a little Kakunyesha? In fact, who can a little Nakubeba? Hm? Say no direct to Atikunya cake to Gani. Kwani, where to no Nanga Mungu. Munga, you are pig a blackout. Kamaka Kawambe a skin. Japon in my first born, Molizalu and Bele, a wheel of Moses. Nye a tunic young and eh, young and eh. Tukisemezana hivi. Si nyinyi na wangresha kwa nini kwa visions tu na ndoto. Umesikia Miriam. Umesikia Arun. So there was another shortcut. So obey him, mutafanikiwa. Huzeni ye mbali, mutaangamia hivyo. Now, that is watu wa tumbo moja. Miriam, Moses, na Arun. Walizaliwa na baba moja, tumbo moja. In fact, wali mle. In fact, ni Miriam di alichukua kina Miriam wali meshua kwa mba alikati na nele zaliwa Musa alifichua fichua pale uh, kwenye uh, mton. Wali mweka pale. Wakaanza kuangalia kama atachukuliwa na binti wa farao ama vipi. They had to make sure that hey, this boy is well kept. Because so they are already grown up. So wala watambo nasema mimi napenda tu mungu. Mimi mambo ya manabi, I don't care. Apostles, I don't care. I miyo vitu wakuna. Then, be very ready. Baraka zote za kiungu nizopata. There will be no preservation for you. Na suno oleta, utabisha mahali penye kuna msaada. Now, those of us ambao usha pata kufanikiwa na buwana. Amini nabi ambaye munga mekupatia. Uwe na imani na ye, ukiwa na imani na ye unafanya. Ukiwa na imani na ye, atakula mkatela, mkate yako. Na atakunywa maji yako. If you receive a righteous man, as a righteous man, in respect to him as a righteous man, you shall receive the blessing that he carries as a righteous man. You shall draw it in him. If you receive a righteous, I mean, uh, a prophet in recognition of him as a prophet of God, then the blessing that is, that is endowed with, the grace that is endowed with as a prophet, you shall, you shall partake of it. So, there is a place of honor you must recognize and have the acceptance of him as a prophet so that you tap into the grace that he carries as a prophet. That informs why I say you must have faith in his chosen prophet. 
So imagine una mkunga maana kuzalisha unasema lakini ananizalisha lakini siko sure kama anaweza niua mtoto anaweza huwa mtoto wangu ama atatoka. So kama mpaka huyu I'm not so sure. Hii mimba hii lakini shika inaweza sasa unaendanga na dukuduku. Please duku. kama uwe na dukuduku achana. Cause obviously mimi nitafanya nini? Nitaafya. Kama wanawake mnafanyanga hivyo. By the time nakubali mkunga aone uchi wako si ushamuamini. Yaani unaamini taaluma yake. Unaamini kwamba kitaaluma yeye ni mkunga daktari. So you believe his profession. Wala ambao mwae fanishiwa surgery mwae shonwa na daktari. Mara nyingi ukishonwa utaki fungua macho angani vile unashonwa. Even if you are so courageous. Unashonwa uzi so mara mingi mguu nataka tu funge macho nataka kuwa na watu mavaa vitu hivi vitu hivi eh makasi pale utoa hii unatolewa tuma you know uko na haki ya kuangalia lakini mara mingi unasema po sasa nifunge tu macho yani na imani watanitengeneza maana ufungua macho unaweza ona makosa sababu shindani nyana wadungu wenye una unashono na vile na kazo unasema eh yani unanikaza hivyo so taza kuongea mambo mengi so that's why mara mwingi what do you do you close your eyes unadungwa shindano eh mara mwingi ile mkono unadungwa shindano una nimefanywa hivi so mara mwingi unaanga tukuta nafunga tu macho sasa tunaogopa the thing is you don't want to cast a special kwa vile unadungwa shindano juma nyana kudunga naweza kuwa na wasiwasi ya kudunga vibaya so unaosha kwamba hata umuone ndio afanye kazi yake vizuri have you guessed why unadungwa kama kalio nyuma na si mbele Hallelujah. Have you ever wondered why injection is on the buttocks, not on your thighs in front? If you got the thing you shouldn't see, utona shindano ni kama ya ngombe ni mrefu. So kule nyuma biashara ikaendelea hauoni ndio maana ukupewa macho hapa nyuma. So that you don't see what happens there. Others watu wote, you know shindano ndaka mdunga nayo. Hiyo. Pala. Hiyo ni mrefu sana. Ngozi yangu nyama yangu si kama hiyo. Si utafuta shida legile mfupi kidogo. Mimi huwezi ndunga na hiyo. Wanabadilisha. So because ya Kiswahili mingi ambazo ni za letter waliamua kwamba ukidunga huko nyuma huoni. Sasa ile unakata unafanyiwa surgery pia unaweza zimwa usione. So that you don't cast doubt. So all that is needed is that you must maintain faith in the prophet God has given you. Stop casting a special. Ukaza kutia dukuduku please hama kanisa. The moment umaza kushuku na umaza kushuku sina imani sana uyu nabi. Ata ki professor lakini sina imani sana. Kuchokua. The best thing yu kuamba katika alio uta kwa preserved. Tembea. Nauza mkuka mwyu nabi neza kachi ni yake ama neza ondoka. Number three, it is demanded of God that you be obedient. Kama utashiriki mfanyiko wa mafuta kwa zili ya kuhifadhiwa, lazima wuna utifu. You must be obedient. Your obedience is unto God. Hallelujah. Ata kwambia kitu kuhusu na B. You must do it. Be obedient. So majira haya ni majira mbamo you must be obedient. Yani uwe mtifu sana mungu nasema. So that chenya takuambia kupitia yule nabi. Usi yangalia kana kwamba ni nabi ya mesema. Yangalia kana kwamba mungu ya mesema kupitia nabi. All you need kwa mdani yako ni kwamba uwe na ushahidi kwamba. Chenya nakuambia umetoka mana mungu. So utakuwa na ushahidi mdani yako. Because nabi kikuambia ni mesema sasa ukingia kanisani kuja kama umatua suruali uko tu uchi. Umatua mashati tembea tu hivyo uchi wa mnyama. Bwana amesema na ufanya hivyo. Please tumie kichwa yako vizuri. Lazima uwe na ushahidi katika roo yako kwamba. Chenye mesema umitokoma na mungu. So that you don't take the prophet wholesale. Hallelujah. Yeah, so that there are some, some prophets and boss who are mungu atakuambi kuzingine roo yako inakusha hidia. 
But now I'm talking in the context of the true prophet that God has given to you and who carries an anointing for your preservation. He'll give you an instruction. Now, Leona, Leona, Katika Samuel Mandiko, Leona, Katika Samuel Mandiko, that is 2 Kings 4, 2 Kings 5, 2 Kings 6, 2 Kings 7 and 8. Yani sa mwizo za wafalme wapili kwa zia sura nne, tano, sita, saba, nane. The exploits of prophet Elisha. In all those places, majority of them, he only gave instructions. Katika mfanyiko za sa mwizo maandiko zote, ili watu wale wasaidiwe, they are being preserved. So naman and his leprosy. Naman na ukoma wake. It was just a word of instruction. You have to believe God and believe the prophet. If you have no faith in the prophet, you cannot carry out a single instruction. Live alone accepting. The poor widow, 2 Kings 4.1. The poor widow. Alikuwa na madeni mwanamuke yule. Ilibidi, amini na bi wabwana. Kwamba ni na bi. So akambua, enda ukope. So imanye ni kwambie, leo, nimesema, uh, enda Central Bank ukope pesa uh, enda Barclays Bank ukope uh, enda KCB Bank ukope pesa yale ambuwa enda na ukope vifurushi uh, vibuyu ndo ama vibuyu tupu nyingi tena labda nyingi kama lori moja amina usi vitake vichache Ukafanya kuwazima tu nyingi jaza kwa nyumba. Na ufuza lisaidia wano toote wawili. Mirango kwa majirani. Alo, alo. Na hupo nisaidia vibu ya maji. Ah, vibu ya maji. Okay. Mtadusha sangapi, tukimaliza, chukua. Bisha mungine, tomba vibu ya maji. Ni mbili tu unayo. Kwa kama yote tukama tano. Unapea, unasanya. Kijanake moja, yafanyo pandule mungine. Mungine amenda malandi ingine kule. The fathers you can go, you collect empty vessels plus the mother. Now, I'm going to pay for you. Guess where? You're going to pay for you. And imagine what you're going to because you believe the word of the prophet. But if you're going to pay for you, you're going to pay for you. You're going to pay for you. You're going to pay for prophetic word. I mean, prophetic instruction. But you're going to pay for you. Empty. You're going to pay for you. You're going to pay for you. Empty jerrycans. Uh, tuko broke. Nabia nasema hata jatuombea. Haka sema tuzi, tuzilete. Alafu tumimine mafuta hii. Mafuta hii kidogo 200 mils. Tuiweke kwa vibuyu hizi zote ilufu moja. Hmm. Think of it. Don't you think we nabiki chweke nyumbaya? How can 200 mils of Elianto be divided into 1,020 liter jerrycans? Even if it's a drop, a drop, a drop, that mathematics can't work. Let's take a pen. Ratio. Uh, 200 mils over, I mean, over 1,000. Then divide it over uh, 1,000 jerrycans of 20 liters each. Ay, even the dot, uh, what will be the volume of the dot? No, this prophet is a madman. So you become very analytical. Too much of analysis gives birth to paralysis. Ukianza sasa, eh, sasa, ukianza hiyo barabara, hakuna nabia takudumia. Sama no. Even if I'm not a prophet, no. This one can't be. <laughs> I'm not a prophet, but this one cannot be. It will never work for you. You must obey God's voice. And having believed the prophet, then believe his instructions. Naman, ilibidi ya ingie kwa maji mara saba na iliesabiwa. Mara moja. Mara mbili. Tatu. Hata wafanyika wazio na ambia, hey boss, udi kwa maji. Hizo ni tatu tu. Because of the word of a prophet. 
Hawa na wake wote they obey instructions. Huyo mwanamke na mafuta aliti na akatekeleza instructions ama maagizo alizopewa. Matokeo ni kwamba mafuta lija 1000 kwa mfano 1000 uh, 20 liter jerry cans full of oil. Miracle. Now do you know that this woman is one of the women kwa Biblia ambao wananifurahisha sana. Kwa mfano okay. Tuseme wa mama wa Kenya ni wajuaji. Mafuta ushaambua ndio hizi imejaa. What will you do next when you biashara? Atajamulia acha nende niuze. But this woman baada mafuta ya kujaa walirudi kwa nabi waambia nabi in obedience to you we have done what you wanted us to do. What you instructed we do tumefanya. So what is the next instruction? Napenda watu kama hao. Nabi akawaambia nini that should be verse number 7. Is it verse number 6? Verse number 7. Ambia basi enendeni muka eh, okay we mwanamke enenda ukayauze mafuta hayo. Kisha ukayalipe madeni yako. Yote na yatakayosalia yani masalio ya, ya masalio ya pesa basi ishi ukilinda watoto wako uwalishe uwasomeshe eh Ushi na hiyo yote and that's how the woman became a business woman oil dealer the word of the prophet preserves you so that instruction lipewa na kumuhifadhi what if hakuwa naamini na what if hakutii na pia So you look at uh, the same thing with the, the Shunammite woman kuifadhiwa all of them ilikuwa ni nini word of instruction the Zarephath woman that is first king 17 was also the same thing aya the next one number four, because i have seven points loyalty and fidelity to god's commandments loyalty and fidelity to god's commandments Yaani ile hali ya kuamini kufanyika mwaminifu kwa amri zake Mungu. Yaani unaaminika. Amri zake Mungu unaziamini tena unaudhabiti katika kuziamini. Na kwa mfano amri kama gani? Pay your tithes. Pay your offerings. Kuna wakati ambao wakati kimeumana sana. Nilipe rent mwanzo ama nilipe tithe mwanzo. Naweza lipa tithe kwanza, I mean naweza lipa rent kwanza nilipe tithe baadaye. If you do so, you know you that you you are not obedient. You are not loyal. So lipa tithe baadaye, baada ya kufanya mambo zingine zote sio natafuta change. Mapokobole zote nyenye zilibaki mashilingi kumi zote nazisanya sanya kwa makoti. I have to pay tithes. I have to pay tithes. Yaani mungu anapatiwa bakshishi. You lack fidelity. Hapo napata kuna wengi ambao the grace of God does not preserve you. When you go to a prophet of God, maana mtu na adui wangu unapoenda, unaendanga na hali ya kuonyesha heshima. Nasikiza heshima kama unaheshimu mtu kama Mungu. At least kuna kitu unaendanga nayo kwa mtu wa Mungu. Tangu zamani ilikuwa hivyo. Even if you don't ask for it. Uwe na heshima hiyo kina nyumba ya Mungu. Unatoa sadaka. Kuna kuna mtu wa Mungu pia. Kuna vile unamsalimia. Sasa unapata unataka uchovie neema ufungue mafuta iliyo ndani ya mtumishi wa Mungu lakini kuna hali ya udhamini you don't have value you don't show value the bible says do not muzzle an ox where it treads where the ox treads don't muzzle it yani mahali eh fahali anakulia usifaje kumzuilia kumzuilia kukula Number five, Okay, so that number four informs us of prophetic gift. There must be a gift that you go with to a prophet. 
It is honorable. It is respectable. No matter how rich a prophet is, they don't, we don't take, we, are, we don't, I mean, a prophet should not solicit anything. The fact that he does not ask doesn't mean that, Sasa, uh, it is for your own good. You draw that anointing. Unaitoa namna gani. Sabu nabia tasema, okay, Sasa, nakunja neema, Sasa neema ishu, okay, kwa huyo. Please, newe utumie kichwa yako na ufahamu wako jinsi ya kutap into that grace. So that informs prophetic gifts and all. Believe God. Then number, the next one is remain in the fold and in the vine. Ka, dani ya nini? Ka, dani ya zizi. Kama utaifadhiwa, then you must choose a fold and abide therein. Zizi lako ni gani? Kila nabi, huwa anamfanyiko wa himaya yake. Every prophet has a jurisdiction that you cover. You have a constituency. Uh, that um, that receive your impartation. You have a constituency that you water or that you minister unto. Second Samuel chapter 7 from verse number 1 to verse number 16. Tunaona jinsi Nabi Samuel alikuwa na madhabahu ambazo azijenga na kuna watu ambao wana wa Israeli ambao aliwatumikia. Kuanzia maeneo yale ya Mispe Baza maliko ya taja. Paka maneo yake ambamo aliishi. Ambamo mentioned the place where Samuel stayed. So he raised, so that, that was his jurisdiction. Jilikuwa himaya yake. Alizunguka maneo hayo yote. Eh, kwa kisha kwamba eh, watu wake hawa wakosawa. So that was his jurisdiction. Na kudi kwa ke maneo ya rama. So, that's verse number 17. Angiru ni maneoke ya rama mbako kule ndiku alikoka. So, ali, alizunguka msaro kumina siya sema nae huwenda mpaka kwa mwaka kuzunguka mpaka betheli na giligali na mispa akawamua izwaili mahali hapo pote badaya kudu ni maneo ya rama. So that talks of his jurisdiction. Hallelujah. So wewe, unapotaka baraka ya nabi na kuhifadio kwa nabi, msimu huu, majira haya ambamo kuna hali ambao za ugumu, unajificha chini ya hema ya nani? Nabi wako ni nani? Wakati kuna nyeshwa mvua, kuna upepo, kuna zogarika, wewe umajikama wapi? Hema yako ni gani? Unapatikana kwa zizi gani? Unatambulikanga na nani kiroho? What is your identity? Kuna kutu sambao utajuaji kama una hiyo. Kiroho utaona ndoto kama gani? Una ndoto kama ue ni chokora. Ndoto utabazo unaona kwa mba. Kariko li mungu wa kiroho unaona kwa mba kwa forest unatembea tu. You are just wandering in the prophet. I mean in the forest. Barabara uji. You are in a strange city kama barabara. Then what happens? You are being bullied. Kuna machokora mba na wazi na wewe unenda. So na pigo mekimbia huku, kidogo mekimbia huku, haujui barabara. Kama una hizo ndoto, then you are kwamba huna kava. You are bullied in your dance, na machokosho na kupiga huku, na kitu kizuri na kunyanganya. Leta hii kitu hapa, nana le kwambu kulange mkate. So in your dreams you are robbed. Una simu mzuri na chukuliwa. Una lia lakini, eh, mwenye majukua na sema, ya, yeah, wei ni mtu mdogo sana, you don't need to have a phone. If that happens to you in the dreams, where? You're being bullied. So you must have a fold. You belong to a fold. Kuwa nazizi. Hata Yesu Christo mwana wa mungu, you are tuambia katika Yohana sura yake ni kumi, umuhimu wakua katika zizi. Yohana mtakatifu sura yake ni kumi mstari wa kwanza. John 10 and, and chapter 10. Verse number one, Jesus says, yes, yes, well, wambia, amin, amin, na wambien. Yeye asie, asie ifungia, uh, asie ingia mlangoni katika zizi la kondo, lakini akwe ya pengineyo, huyo ni mvi, ni muivi, na ni mnyangani. 
haingiae mlangoni ni mchungaji wa kondoo babu umfungulia huyo na kondoo umsikia sauti yake naye huaita kondoo wake kwa majina yao na kuwapeleka nje naye awatoa po eh, nje kondoo wake wote U, yeye huatangulia na wale kondoo mfuata kwa maana waijua sauti yake mgeni hawamfuati eh, kabisa bali watamkimbia kwa maana hawazijui sauti ya mgeni mtale hayo Yesu aliwaambia lakini hawakuelewa na mambo hayo aliyoyawaambia hawakuelewa kabisa mstari wa saba. basi Yesu aliwaambia tena amina amina waambieni mimi ndimi mlango wa kondoo wote walio nitangulia ni wevi na wanyang'anyi lakini kondoo hawakuwasikia mimi ndimi mlango mtu akiingia kwa mimi ataokoka ataingia na kutoka naye atapata malisho mwivi haji ila aibe na kuchinja na kuharibu mimi nalikuja ili wawe na uzima kisha wawe nao tele nasema mimi ndimi mchungaji mwema mchungaji mwema ufanya nini utoa uhai wake kwa ajili ya kondoo mtu wa mshahara eh? wala si mchungaji ambaye kondoo si mali yake umuona mbwa mwitu akakuja akawaacha kondoo na kukimbia na mbwa mwitu huakamata na kuwatawanya so yule kukimbia kwa kuwa ni mtu wa mshahara wala mambo ya kondoo sio kitu kwake na sehemu hiyo Yesu azungumzia kondoo wazizi. Mchungaji ana kondoo. Sasa kila azizi limo na mchungaji. So kila kondoo lazima awe katika azizi na akatambulika na mchungaji. Ili wakati mbwa mwitu anakuja kurarua unalindwa. So wakati ungeporo wa vitu vya baraka hizo nazo unahifadhiwa na nani? So kuna watu ambao wa mimi kwao nimebeba mafuta ya kuwahifadhi neno la kuwahifadhi neno la kuwahifadhi katika majira haya So whom do you belong to Identify yourself with a choice prophet ambaye Mungu amekuambia this one is my chosen prophet for you Hear him Na utaranda randa utatanga tanga So mafuta aliyoibeba inakuhifadhi So kwake unalipa mafungo zako. Unatoa zaka zako. Waonyesha heshima zako. Anakuombea, anakaa katika hali ya kuangalia. Mafuta ile amebeba, kwako inakuja tu katika hali ambayo umeitegea. Haleluya. Second last. Na sehemu hiyo ambayo nimesema in the fold, please remain in the fold. Wacha kutanga tanga. Don't mix yourself. This prophet, that other prophet, this preacher, that other preacher. Leo kwa jina yako na watu ambao there ukiona umesave majina yao unachukua picha ya mfumo. Yaani I saw something that very funny. There's someone ambaye partakes of my grace as a servant of God in me or her life. Niko na picha ameweka ya mhubiri fulani, ndio picha yake. Na huko anakula na mimi. Nikaangalia sema wewe. This is this person I'm confused. How do you take another a picture of another servant of God? Do your profile picture profile picture yako kwa kwa YouTube I mean kwa kwa WhatsApp ama kwa your Facebook <laughs> lakini wewe umekaa hapo na kula mapoche pocho ya hapa okiriek no kichwa yako si mzuri so between the two baba yako ni nani <laughs> between the two who is your father That shows what ambao ni ma survivor. Hawa na took road na wait as survivors. Survivor from by who has come to the city today? Prophet Onyango Makocheng. Uwi Onyango Makocheng. That is the man. Now, next month, who has come to the city today? Eh Semajina Nan, which prophet do we use? What is the same? 
then kuna prophet amekuja saa mwingine tena eh hey, that's the man okay tuseme wala nyo shida kwenda kwa Yesu kama nani okay uh, prophet uh, kuna ma prophet shida mbele zetu kwa Yesu so imagine aonda wamekuja umesikia eh hey, wako mali fulani siku hiyo sasa onyango mako chini ni watu kwa godu limaiza na huyo so let's go for another one sasa wakila nabii kuja kwa town you change them wewe ni survivor wa kiroho Hauna baba Hauna zizi Hauna kava Anybody who comes so long as we identify na yeye siku hiyo yeye ndio yeye Ni makosa ya kiroho that means hautakuwa na mafuta ya preservation Then number second last is regard the principles of sacrifice Zingatia sana kanuni za dhabihu. You must have regard to the principles of sacrifice. Or the principle of sacrifice. It works. It works for me. And I believe it works for you. Sacrifice. Kujitoa. Someone should take things. Someone. Lazim ujitoa kwa jili ya mafuta. Eshimu mafuta. You sacrifice in the fear of God. So you must have something that you call a sacrifice. It's honorable. Mtumishi ambao unaweza jitoa eh sacrifice something because kule binguni Mungu ananapokea lakini duniani kuna watu Mungu ameweka wapokee dhabihu. Sacrifice for the house of God. Sacrifice for the things of God. Hallelujah. Something leaves you inakuacha na machungu unapoitoa. Yaani unaweza kuwa na hasara katika hali fulani because it is a sacrifice if only it causes you pain. If you are giving does not leave you with pain. Hai, hiyo ni offering. In fact it is a free will offering. Kama sadaka kinyo natoka Mungu. Eh, haijakuacha na kilio. Unalia mpaka nyuma. Sio so <laughs> Lakini ni unatoa mpaka unasikia kumeharibika. Unaweza funga duka. Unaweza funga duka. Hiyo inaitwa dhabihu. One time mwa kanambia nataka upeane hii duka yako. Aida aida building. Kanambia erembesha mzuri nimetengeneza mzuri nikaitengeneza mzuri alafu kwa na makio ndani na nikafungua e, mfanyiko wa biashara kubwa ndani. Ndio mambo inaanza kuwa mzuri. Mwa kanambia peana hii nyumba mimi hakuniambia mimi ni bwana mungu wa majeshi mungu wa ibrahimu isaka na jacobo nimekuja nasema sasa onyango peana hii duka Aku likujia hivyo. Sasa nikambua ni piana iduka. We. Bada kupiana hiyo nyumba. Nilifilisika. <laughs> that was the first house. And the first precious thing ni wae piana. Nilikuwa ni nyumba. Sasa ya pili likuwa ni gari. Mtoto wangu anakataa gari anasema hatutaki hii gari. Kiongo anasema sitaki hii gari. It was a PJ 504 saloon ex UK. Hatutaki hii gari. So gari kakaanga tu. Hatutaki hiyo gari. Yaani Royal toka kwa gari. So I called a certain person ambia pastor kuna gari kuja uchukue. Pastor yako ana roho ya kupeana pe kuchukua gari. Nenda harusi mahali akaomba gari. Ambe ende sheni so sio tu kwani mepeana gari. But you know I have the method to receive. Yuko na washanganya ambao ukimpatia vitu fulani. Hawezi si ati hataki nili tu ana ana shock absorbers ana uwezo wa kuyapokea. So sometimes good to know nani ameambiwa na Mungu mpe vitu. 
Na kwa mbesu ni pena nyumba. Tuli nilifilisika. <laughs> Nibaki raia. Tonga tonga yoke kimoro. <laughs> but I defy that I did not make a mistake. Many years badai mpaka wa leo. When I want anything from God, it comes a good thing. Bonus biwe. I've been preserved. Kuna kuna madhabiu ambazo kitoa kwa mungu zina nena mpaka siku tondoka duniani. So in the season kama hii ambamo kuna judgments na uh, hali ya uchumi ni ngumu na hali ni mbaya you need to be preserved. Kuna madhabiu ambazo kitoa zina nena kwa niaba yako kibiashara, kazi. Eh? Watu nafutwa kazi. Sasa unataka uwe poso ni ombe hata mimi nafutwa. Kuna mimi naambia wewe uweze futwa. Ambia remember mshahara wako wa kwanza ulitoa dhabiu, alipeana yote. Kaambia young man, kaa kwa ofisi, no one would fire you. During COVID-19, the man stayed. Watu walifutwa kazi wote. Yeye amekaanga tu. Afutwi kazi na yeye si mudosi huko. Kazi yake ni kula mshahara na kupasa masaa. <laughs> kula mshahara na you pass the time. Na wengine watu walika nyumbani. I told him remember covenant. Alipenda sacrifice yake. Kazi yake ya kwanza alifanya vow ama nadhiri. Ambia Mungu kazi mshahara ile nitashika ya kwanza taipeana. Akasema tapeana yote. So kuna vitu ambavyo unapokea kama mtu angupaka unaogopa. Sema wewe Mungu nifanye nini kitu kama hii dhabi nifanye. Maana mtu ameamua kuipeana ujia anaishi namna gani ata survive namna gani the whole month. Unachukua unaogopa. So many times such things also you have to wait God akwambie utafanya. Sacrifice yake ni nena kwa ajili ya kazi yake. Accident na kula kula watu fua. Uchumi ni mbaya vitu zinaenda mbaya mbaya. Hata mafuta ya gari ifike shilingi 1000. The rushers in go wale wateule wa Mungu you shall buy and nothing shall happen to you. Bwana asifiwe. Kuhifadhiwa. Inflation iwe 30% ama iwe 100%. Kwako bado utanunua maisha utaishi. Siku ma wiki ya 10 bob iuzwe 100 please utakula na bado kwako maisha ni sawa sawa that means preservation preservation mkate itoke shilingi 50 inge shilingi 100 au utapiga kelele kwa barabarani eh, eh demanding our rights haki yetu wewe hakuna wewe haki yako ni ya binguni iwe ifike 150 wewe bora umekula mkate why god provide for you what is as we wait Now that's where it is hidden preservation. So kunazo madhabiu ambazo umetoa zina nena kwa niaba yako. And there must be a prophet or there must be an altar for you to the dhabiu. Kuna wakati Mungu akani akani amrisha kwa bank ninunulie tikiti mtumishi wa Mungu fulani aende aende kuhubiri eh nchi ya nje. So nenda kwa bank na kuna kwamba loan nenda kuomba loan kwa bank nyakati hizo nilikuwa mtumishi nilikuwa nafanya biashara. Kuna mchungaji mmoja akanisalimia kwa banking akaambia, "Eh, hey, mtu wa Mungu. Eh, hey, Mungu akikunenea ninaenda South Africa. Sina tikiti. Kila kikunenea please unikumbuke. Like a joke, akatoka mimi nikaingia. So sasa nimekea kuuliza loan kwa bank na mbwa account yako ni mbaya au una pesa lazima ufanye hivi na hivi ndio vitu ikuweko. Around that time nilikuwa nafanya import and export. Okay, nilikuwa nafanya export. Yes, nilikuwa nafanya biashara ya export. So nikaondoka nje. Sasa nilikuwa tu kwa bank alba sijaondoka nje nasikia sauti bwana anambia. Unakumbuka wale mtumishi? Utanule tikiti. Watu ambao if there is something about god and you nafikiri mungu ni mwende wazimu number one, nimeenda bank kukopa pesa maana in the first place sina hiyo pesa nimeenda kusaidiwa then mungu na bank yenyewe imekataa kunipea mkopo because account yangu vile iko imehara mpaka iwezi ku support nini kupewa mkopo then mungu anakuja na kuambia unaamka yule mchungaji ambaye amekuangalisha nunulie tikiti na tikiti ambayo naongelea wakati huo ni pesa kwangu ilifa hamsini ilikuwa kama ilusu milioni na wambio kwa mbunulia nini tikiti eh. na kama ni mungu wa mekonesho na sikia tuwe unatofautisha sauti ya mungu na mashetani wana kwambia na ufanya tu 
bibi maana siku zake za kuondoka zimekaribia Ni mshiro utafanya nini God can never ask you what you don't have but I discover that God will ask you even if it appears you don't have but you have the potential for it so God looks at your potential though you may not have it but you have the potential you don't have the money but the potential for the money Nakwambia wiki moja nili less than a week nilitafuta namna sina amani situli because kuna mtu mahali anaenda kuingia i sacrificed everything akaenda kukopa mahali kufanya nini banki ikikataa nijaribu kuingine nende kwa airline company kaambia mimi naitwa fulani wa fulani nataka tikiti ya, ya kwenda south africa ya mtu fulani ambia pesa iko wapi kaambia andika Eh, I told them who I am. Mimi ndio najiweka yani naji risk peni. I'm the one who is paying. Talipa hivi na hivi na hivi. Happened the airline uh, was owned by mtu mkubwa kwa serikali ya nzi hizo. So I risk myself I say mimi naandika hii check hii. So the man went akabaki. Na kama nilipa deni hiyo ya habi ni mkopo nilipa hiyo deni for one year it was a sacrifice do you know kuna wakati nataka kwenda inchi anytime nimetaka kwenda inji ya uh, inje ya inchi any inch yote nitaka kwenda mungu nisaidia miraculously mimi na ndaka nitaka kwenda if i want to be, na, to be in nairobi now even if i don't have money for nairobi i'll be in nairobi kuna adhabu nilitoa wakati wa ugumu sana na bado kiroho inanena i was stuck one in uh, i was one time stuck mali hakuna ndege nikaambua hii eh, hakuna ndege na warukisha mali fulani so mtabaki hapo Kenya ni mbali nchi hiyo ni mbali you are in no man's land Do you know kama ndege mimi sijui mwenye alilipa ndege i don't know who hired i mean who ndege inakonga hired i mean afanywa nini Kunibeba mimi from where I was to inji ingine. Then I remembered. Sacrifice yo miaka. Then ikanibeba. Hoteli nimelala sijalipa. Na limboa utalala kwa complementary. Na unakula kwa complementary. Nikafuka kuna zodabio. There is a sacrifice that I done what? That I had uh, raised. It speaks. Dabio wa yozi. Someone hear it and uh, hold it in Jesus name. Kisikia tunajenga please rusha sacrifice. Kisikia tunanua hema please sacrifice. Some things do it as one person. Sema tu hii nitafanya peke yangu. Inakuwa ni siri yako na Mungu. Kwa ajili ya nini watoto wako wasome, wa, eh, watoto wako wawe na afya, watoto wako walindwe. There are things that cannot happen to my generation because kuna za madhabuzi na nena. Mwisho be cut off from pollution. Mwisho eh, ujikatanishe na hali ya nini? hali za uchafu za kiroho cut off yourself from spiritual pollution i'm closing with that one be cut off from pollution or spiritual pollution jikatalishe na mambo za unajisi wa kiroho so anything that can pollute your spirit katana nayo around this time I mean for you to for you to partake of preservation anointing cut off yourself from pollution so sio kila mhubiri ambaye anakubiria power sema hai huyu sasa nitakuwa wangu kuna za mahubiri ambazo ukiyapokea inakuharibu kuna za mambo ambazo ukiziona kwa runinga zinakuchafua kuna vitu ambazo ukisoma kwa gazeti zinakunajisi kuna nyimbo ambazo ukiyasikiza kipindi hiki unataka kuhifadhiwa inafanya wewe kuavya kile umebeba ndoto zako zinachafuka maono yanachafuka uwezi shika mambo ya kiungo sawa sawa then mimba kama unao pia inaharibika so mafuta ya kuhifadhiwa inatafuta jinsi yani nafasi ya kukaa usiwe na hali ambazo umenajisika so pollution usikule vitu ambazo zinakutia unajisi usiongee maongea ambayo inakunajisi Usijishirikishe na matendo ambazo zinanajisi ndani yako. Usikule kwa kila nabii vyakula ambazo nakupea. Chagua ni wapi unakula, wapi unashiriki neema. 
you stop any pollution that may lead to constipation. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. So, a note for preservation that we carry is not for everybody. It is for the selected that God anakuletea barabara yako. Kila mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye amefanywa nabii kwako, amebebesha mafuta ya kuhifadhi. Jua ni yeye. Kama mimi sio kwako, please tafuta wa kwako. Maana Mungu anaweza hawezi fanya kukuchanganya ati unaishi huku na mafuta ya kuhifadhi iko kwa yule. No, God does not work like that. So always lazima uwe very sure. Ni nabi yupi ambaye nimetumiwa kwenye hifadhi. Jitegemeze kwa barabara yake. Then fuatana na yeye na ukae kwa laini ya kava yake. Lakini usiende hivi 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 vile changanya hapa pata potea pale. No. I believe kwamba wale ambao Mungu amekutuma kwangu utasikia kwamba ninaponena kuna hali ambayo inaguzia moyo wako. Haleluya. Uishie milele baba Mungu wa mbinguni. Asante kwa ajili ya mahubiri neno lako limeenenda na watu hawa baba nimewapa neno lile lulinipatia. Na kuomba kwamba neno hili likawajenga na baba alitakurudia bure. Naamini kwamba inafanyisha mfanyiko ambao ulikusudia kwa manufaa yao na hivyo pia bwana kwa ukuu wa jina lako. Unapoondoka na kuenenda kwa matayarisho baba kwa ajili ya maombezi ya wamu ya kesha baba naomba kwamba ukafanyisha baba kuwapa nguvu. Naamini kwamba Bwana utafanya kutuhifadhi ili baba kwamba baraka zako ndani yetu zikadumu na kwamba Bwana tutoe afya muujiza uliyotupatia na kwamba Bwana ikawaheri na sisi sote. Bwana tena Father we bless you and we honor your name. Thou grant the Lord be well with all of us plus them that Lord are viewing and watching us online from wherever they be I pray the Lord God Jehovah your grace be sufficient over their lives and may you grant the Lord becomes well with them. Father, to you be glory and to you be praise. Na potoa baba na potoa ni kwa imani na ni kwa heshima. Vibasi baba kawabariki. Mana buwana ni meombo kawatenda hivyo. Katika Yesu Christo na omba. Amen. Let's rise up and uh, we say the grace. Walambo na toa. Na toa pale, na toa pale, na toa online. Baba bariki wa toa na potoka. Na baba I pray. Na toa te wale ambao tunakuja maombezi usiku wa leo. Wapati safari jema. Those who will be tuning in online to follow prayers, Father, I pray you be gracious to them. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's see if I Johnny. Please. I want to say, Kwamba, the reason why church, the Church of Kenya, shall not have a voice over BBI is because the voice of the church is Mazo. The Church of Kenya has been gone through judgment. We have supported the hand of the wicked in Kenya. And as a result, God has judged Kenya, and also God has judged the church.